everybody once again we are the tavern harriers and it is now 7 p.m so we are live like always right on time every time and if you're new to us we are a um, just one night of the triumph and blunder community which is a, a ttrpg community where we stream games for your viewing pleasure but mostly it's for our pleasure because we're just here to tell a good story and have a good time and if you guys enjoy watching, that's great. But either way, we're going to have fun. And <laughs> so punctual. And also, as a reminder, we got these neat, we got these nifty mugs, our tumblers, as part of our merch giveaway for our stream anniversary coming up next month, June 2nd. Go ahead. So if you want more details on that, you can go ahead and hit it head and hit the bang giveaway. And it'll give you the form. I'll go ahead and... Uh, Give you an example of it. Uh, how it should work. Okay. All right. There you go, and that's there. It is up. So let's go ahead, and we'll introduce the cast for tonight. And we'll go ahead and we'll start with we'll start with Alex. Well, yeah, name's Alex, playing Solwyn the. Mark of Making Artificer. Not much to say aside from that. All right. Okay. Next up, let's go with uh, Katie. Hi, everyone. I'm Katie. I'm playing Yulia, the College of Swords Changeling Bard. All right. All right. Let's go, Jojo. It's Jojo, and I play Soka Nilo, the High Elf Wizard. All right. And let's go with Dee. Hi, I'm Dee. I am playing the angry but sweet, um, raging, raving cinnamon roll barbarian. The spiciest cinnamon roll. <laughs> spiciest. It's savory, not sweet. Savory, not sweet. Okay. And finally, Carol. I am Carol. I play Sayorin. Uh, the party's uh, unofficial de facto tank. And speaking of spiciness, this week of uh, TNB is brought to you by Lay Stacks. Uh, <laughs> buffalo wings with ranch. Are they delicious? Spicy? Are they spicy? Uh, they got a little bit of heat to them, just enough. <laughs> just, okay. just, just enough to make them delicious, but not enough to make me cry like a little bitch when it comes to spicy. Well, that's good. That's good. Have milk candy. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag please sponsor. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and just as a reminder, everybody, uh, like I said, this is just Tuesday night, uh, Monday through Friday. We are streaming. Check out our, if you scroll down, you will see our schedule. It is up there for every night of the week. And it's also up on Twitter, which I also put the bang Twitter. So you can follow us on that social media platform. I oh. believe we also have something on Saturdays, and then Sunday, Corey, the DM of Monday and Wednesday's games, has been reading through source books like the That's right. Dungeon Master's Guide. That's right, uh, Dungeon Daddy. Um, I don't know. If, <laughs> I don't know how much we should promote that name. Um, it could be taken so many different ways. <laughs> I think that's the point. <laughs> I keep meaning to join him on those, but just, I'm in the process of getting ready to move right now, so everything's chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I jumped in for a second when he was like starting to go over creating NPCs, and I was probably more interested in the magic item, so I just bailed then. Yeah, I'm not sorry, sure, Corey. I'm not sure what we have on Saturdays. I haven't seen anything broadcast yet, but then again, I feel like we've had something. Yeah, I'm usually busy on Saturdays and Sundays, but uh, yeah, be sure to tune in with Corey um, when he's going through his DM. Run. Uh, walkthrough had the GM guide. And then, all right. 
let's get into our story. And everybody is in character now. So anything said from this point forward is taken yeah. as canon. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, boom. Zolwyn explodes. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Amid the bustle of water deep within the castle ward where barristers, nobles, and emissaries battle with word and contract. Stands an inn, not quite like any other. Before there was a castle ward, or even what could be recognized as an ancestor of this city of splendors, there was a dungeon, and in that dungeon begins the tale of the Yawning Portal, where they, where the adventurers were sent into the Forge of Fury, where they battled the Black Dragon and acquired the first piece of the Rod of Law to thwart the plans of the Queen of Chaos, which led them to a mysterious shrine. They weren't given the exact details, but through some research, they were able to ascertain through Socron's very good education, which is remarkable that he knows so much about this, this hidden shrine. He seems to roll a 20 every time it comes up for the history of this shrine. So I got it. <laughs> <laughs> you read enough of the books when we went to the library. <laughs> yes. He seems to know. And they were able to ascertain that it was the hidden shrine of Tamuatsin. After spending a little time in Waterdeep, they made their way to, to the ruins where the ground collapsed and they were thrust into the depths of the lower level of the, of the hidden shrine. And they found that there was an amber gas that followed them, toxic, every so often, making them weaker and weaker. They managed to make their way up to the upper levels where the amber gas was no more. But as they progressed through, they began to realize, wait, we're almost done. We haven't figured out where the next piece of the rod of law is at. And... Yulia, I don't believe she shared with the other members, so you guys do not know this. This would be Mega Gaming. But Yulia was also given a quest to find an item to prove her worthiness to a secret organization within Waterdeep. And she has not been able to find that as of yet either. No. So, so you guys are, after battling the gibbering Mouther, the spider in the tunnel, making your way through, and then start backtracking and say, well, well, maybe there's some things we missed. Started to find a few things. We found a celestial being entrapped who fooled you into believing you needed to free him in order to save your own lives. But you were rewarded for solving the puzzle and freeing the celestial being with very powerful magic items. A mirror of the past, a periot of wound closure, and a balance of harmony with the gems that actually operated. Quite generous. Uh, so Kron managed to take a ride on an amusement park ride that he found in a room, shaped like an octopus altar, touched it, got stuck, and went for a little ride. They decided to Find another way to get the gem. So Crown was having so much fun that once he got the gem in his possession, he just went into a little jig and could not stop. Until it was forcibly removed from his hand. The party did wrap it up. Thinking this could come in handy at another time. Maybe we'll toss it to a good friend of ours and see how well they dance. And they, from there, they decided... Well, maybe there's there's this much we've missed on this upper level. Maybe we've missed some things on the lower level. So they went back down the stairs to where they defeated the baboons and the giant, giant constrictor snake. The first place that they noticed the amber gas had dissipated. And there they took a short rest. And that's where we find the, this group tonight. Back again. Okay, you guys should all see the map. Yeah. 
That was a nice rest. Thank yes. You. Uh, oh, feels good. Wait. I do see the map, but I see just I see two circles for some reason. And I have good. tokens and neither one of them. <laughs> oh, same wait. here. Where are we? Either has vision. Wait. <laughs> Somewhere in here, there are giant fire beetles and a panther. <laughs> and yeah. yeah. Oh wait, that was the uh, the dude Verity came. Was it? I can see my oh, token. Yeah. This says yeah. I have no vision on the token. Where's yeah, my token? Here. I can't even see my token. Tino. I only see Tino. me and Yulia. Tino's a sassy little pussycat, ain't he? What, Tino? What do you want? I see my token, but I don't <laughs> have vision. You don't have sound going through, Brian, if you're trying to say something. Oh, who can see? Not I me. Cannot. So God cannot. Nobody I can, can see, see, I just see wrong. <laughs> uh, but everybody can see. Oh, wow, that's so weird. I see, but wrong also. See, like, I see. I feel like we're the most punctual group for TNB, but we're also the most uh, well, technologically <laughs> impaired. <laughs> well, the, <laughs> well, I mean. Brian got the turn counter done before Corey. But here's the thing is I haven't changed anything from last week to this week. Because I oh, see Oh, I changed something videos. from last week. Would you change? I can see parts My of computer. the computer. <laughs> but ah. they're probably not the hey. right parts. For anybody watching the stream who's confused, I got a new computer and I'm very excited about it. Yeah. But I see a bunch of beetles that I shouldn't be seeing, and I also see a dead, uh, one of those dead, is that, is that the dead hermit crab? There you go. Now what do you see? Are... The black oh, inky void. <laughs> and the shape of rectangle. See... Now you see nothing, see right? Yeah. Yeah. I see a small yeah. skid somewhere at the bottom right, but that's about it. <laughs> I, I see a, I see a meme as I reach for my wand of magic missiles. <laughs> Let me, uh. Yeah, that is so weird how it, this all changed from last week to this week. What is the issue, Tino? What? Isn't that cool name? I can find, uh. I don't see my token anymore. I took it off. Oh. I was like, you guys seeing too much, huh? <laughs> I mean, it's just the fire beetles in that little room where the panther's in. Yeah. You're seeing too much. Fraction now you can't see anything at all. <laughs> 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 all right. Now let me try something else here and see if this works. You guys could see last week the page is set up right. That cat is getting too sassy. Okay, can you guys see now? Same nope, thing. I, st I still have weird vision. Yeah. I only uh, see tokens. I'll re reload. Yeah, try reloading, everybody. Can you see? Because it nothing has changed, and that's what's aggravating. No, it's the same. Oh, while we're in this uh, weird little limbo here, uh, I've changed the way I switch with my Echo, Ryan. Uh, so instead of swapping my tokens around constantly, I'm going to leave them where they are and then just change my avatar at the bottom between Echo and Sayor. Okay. Can you guys so see now, which one is Now I see everything. Yes. Everything. With with dynamic lighting. So yes. oddly, <laughs> some things are blocked off. <laughs> what do yeah, you mean? Well, I put, tokens. It's because I put it on Explorer. I, I took it off... Uh, you guys can't see everything. I think you guys can see everything. We we can I can see everything, but with the dynamic lighting, 
there we go. Some certain spots where you've got doors blocked off and haven't removed them. Uh, yeah. There's an, there's well, an area. Have you tried moving the token? That. Yeah, I can move the token and I can get around those weird spots. It's just that's what I see right now. Yeah. I mean, I it's fixed for me. I also see a bunch of different shit, but. All right, we'll just roll with it. So we, so so prime. Can you see? Yeah, I, I can see everything. All right, we'll just roll with it. Don't make don't meta. Okay. All right. <laughs> Don't be naughty. Okay, let's go. <laughs> uh, question. How long has it been since we've been here? Since I cast my mage armor? Hey, there you go. Oh, we've me taken when... at least one long rest. Yeah, since your last... Yeah, because the last time you went up here and you took a long rest, it's only been about an hour. Roughly. It's only been an hour? Okay. Uh, yeah, because you got... Yeah. Yep, yep, game time, yep. Alright, sweet. Yeah. And we're good to go. Okay. So, all right. Where would you guys like to go? Good question. I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't go home yet because we still need to find that one thing like that stupid y'all stick. are looking for. Well, for we haven't stick? opened this door. Where? There's a door over here. I thought that was just a table. I kind of tried to check. I think at some point, but it's like long corridor of big old pit thing. Can I check the door if it's locked? Uh, yeah. Map. Can you see now? Or is it, did it take it away? I'm just it took it away. away. Black. No, it's black. Yeah, it, it's dynamic lighting with roll twenty. That's messed up. That's what it is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I cannot see. Uh, all right. Now you guys should be able to see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You check and all see. Right. Uh, what are you doing? Checking if it's locked. Um, make a. Yeah. How are you going to check? Grabbing the handle and twisting it. It doesn't feel <laughs> locked, yeah. Then okay. I open it. Okay. You open the door and nothing happens. Can I see it? What do I see? All right, I will give you the description here in a second. All right, I'm gonna actually show you what you kind of see. Really? Oh, this will be interesting. Yeah. Okay, let me hear. Let me give it to you. This will be fun. I think it's. Oh, I would also like to point out that uh, on the 20th, it was my birthday. I'm now 36. Go me. Oh, oh well. Happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh. Or birthday, okay. rather. The computer was a gift to myself because I love me that much. <laughs> hey. I love me a good gift to yourself. Okay. As you open the door so hot, you see the walls of this passage, they glow magenta, bathing the corridor with a ghastly hue. After about 15 feet, the floor drops away to a pit that fills the hallway ahead. The pit itself looks pretty deep. You see eight large spidery bushes with thorny stems, white leaves, and enormous yellow blossoms growing across the bottom of these plants. Five feet beyond the nearest edge of the pit is a bronze bar set level with the floor and embedded with the embedded in the pit walls to either side. Farther out over the pit can be seen other similar bronze rungs set at five foot intervals. On the floor by the edge of the pit is a scattering of broken, rotting wooden planks. So you see this pit that goes from one end to the other. I wonder what we, they put in there. <laughs> Probably something that will eat you. Oh, it is, ah. it is obstacle, obstacle course. Look, you just monkey butt across. Or it's something that we could eat. That's the opposite of what I said. <laughs> it's either or. I mean, it's 50-50 chance, you know? Eat or I mean, be valuable eaten. down there. <laughs> oh, uh... Now, for some reason, now I have control of Yulia's token. <laughs> well, uh, what yeah. we know is that 
there's at least one room still that we know exists that we have to go check. Uh, let's, you know, investigate this and then try and head in that direction at the very least. The one with the axe, the spooky axe? Yep, that's the one. Mm-hmm. With there's the guy that, staring in the corner. There's also that weird eye creature we saw on the way to the next floor. We did look at that eye. But it did not look back at us. I think, you know, we should maximize our, our time getting to those locations so that we don't inhale any more of this noxious gas that we have to. I mean, if we, once we take a rest, I mean, we could always go back over here and check this thingy. You want to just go back and to We're going to have later? to come back out this way anyway, so. Yeah. Maybe this is a late, we can put a pin in this one. All right. Boxy puts an actual pin on the door. Okay. Elkrin, do you remember which which direction that we need to go to get down or, or still win, either of you? Uh, I believe we could take either way. Um, probably be easier just to go down this way to this door. Through here. Who wants to go first? Oh, I, I will go first. We've already kind of cleared what we think is most of the traps, so yeah, I'll just hang in the middle to the rear. Oh, are we going south? Run that monkey barn across. <laughs> Unless you want to send your echo real quick and see what's on the other side. <sighs> that was down the there. Excuse me. Oh, uh, I can't. I. I cannot see through the echo. I can only uh, exchange places with it. Mm. Did we want to see what is through the door on the other side or no? If you can make it quick. Well, I suppose I can make it quick. (laughs) Okay, there. I can summon the echo, and he can be that far away from me. Oh. All right, uh, I would like to summon the echo and then swap places with it after it is at the other side of the corridor. Okay. And then, you uh, do so. Blink. Okay. Yeah. And I will. Uh, How many feet can you do? Uh, I can summon it within. Uh, 15 feet, and then it can move up to 30 on my turn. Uh, but how far away do you have to be to change places? If it is a unlimited distance out uh, after my turn, if it is outside of 30 feet, it vanishes. Okay. Okay. This is not good. I do not like this key. Stop this. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Eight. Okay. So, all right, you do that. Did did these pop up as the echo went across? Oh no, these or are the these are the um. This is the what you see there. Is that. The eight large spidery bushes with thorny stems. They're at the bottom of the pit. They're at the bottom of the pit. Yep. I am, are they are they coming up to us or are they staying down there? Oh, they're just yeah. They're they look like they're planted down there actually. Oh, they're bushes. Interesting. There are uh, there seems to be some uh, some plants at the bottom here. Make a perception check. Gladly. Uh, skill, skill, skill. Oh, biscuits. Uh, new computer <laughs> extensions are not installed. Uh, I did get a 23, though. 
Okay. Oh, um, well, that's, funny, that's why. Okay. Um, actually, so what you're noticing is that the that the bush, each bush appears to be under each bar. But likely to get the uh, launch thorns or vines or something if you try to cross. Uh, I would like to uh, ignore the plants for now, and I will open the door down here at the end of the hallway as I also try to install Beyond 20. Do you see a door? Uh, oh, I don't know. Do I see a door? I'm at the end of the tunnel. Okay. I, I assumed that it was a door. Sorry. You see, a, you see a wall? I... Can I search the wall, see if there is a secret door? You can, you can yeah. Make an uh, investigation. Twelve. Um, you're not finding anything. You're just like, wow, what a what a waste of space. <laughs> oh, this is uh, there is nothing down here. Not even a little bit of treasure. Uh, I will uh, do the opposite again. I will swap places with Echo on the other side. And I will summon the Echo and move him across the uh, the cavern area. And in swap places with him. There is nothing. Can you echo go through solid? It cannot. It can. Echo is not. How to explain? Echo is. Uh, possibilities. It is. Uh, say, what if there there was bridge here? That is how it is able to walk across. Mm hmm. But Basically, is, if you're able to be there, it can be there. Uh, less like that and more if something could be there. Like, there cannot be door here, so Echo cannot walk through door. You understand? Hmm. But there could be boards here. There could be uh, uh, a bridge of some sort. There could be passage across it. That is how Echo is able to move across. When Echo is in the air, like with... Uh, uh, our friend, our late friend uh, Avarice, when I launched into air in swap places with Echo, that is maybe Echo found stairs or maybe managed to climb a uh, snake. It, if, it, it all depends. If anything, uh, if you're really, really curious, Sokrin, you could probably burn these away and see if they leave anything behind. Something that's magical, if that's what you're looking for, wouldn't be affected by magic such as fireball hey look i'm back in action oh <laughs> that was quick could i just do like a um a fireball and see if one catches on fire and it just shrivels up before you do i am moving out of the way <laughs> <laughs> are you sure <laughs> you can you can try you can try whatever you like all right i'm just gonna do a firebolt on the the closest one I see. Okay. And see what happens. Okay. Go ahead and roll the hit. Eleven. Uh, that will hit. Eight fire. Okay. Yeah, you hit it. Okay. That's it. That. It's probably gonna take me a long time unless I really want to waste a, my magic here. <laughs> It's probably not worth it. I, like I said, it's completely up to you. Um, we're not like wasting any time because there's no gas here or anything. So, all right, fireball, fireball, <laughs> nine. <laughs> well, you said fireball first. Yeah, that's gonna, <laughs> that's gonna miss. Fireball. <laughs> Firebolt that will hit. Ten fire. Okay. And then. And it, oh, was it enough? It was. But now what we're going to do? Now you got their attention. No, it didn't kill it. Okay. Yeah. But you you can you can see the aura, right? Yes. Yeah. You know, it's about halfway there. Rough like it's <laughs> yellow. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's what I was. Oh. Yeah. 
Oh. All right, I see how it is. Is that a nice little spray of blood there that just happened? Yes. <laughs> yep. Pretty slick for a plant to bleed. Yeah, it's they a... have to die. <laughs> plants have Who blood. Said it's a plant. Oh god, this plant's gonna fight back. It bleeds green. It's called chlorophyll. I, I was about to say it was chloroplasm. I'm so glad I did because. <laughs> <laughs> embarrassingly wrong. Okay, everybody go Close ahead and roll initiative. <laughs> but I don't want to be part of this initiative. I don't want to fight the plants. I don't want to fight the plants. They're going to fight anyway. I don't want to fight. Well, that didn't go brilliantly. <laughs> well, it went exactly as planned. Uh, <laughs> they were benign until somebody started firebolting them. Yeah. Look, so, so <laughs> was, so was like, ready. I wanted, Everybody else was just like, mm. I wanted like a fire effect with just one catch on fire and it just spreads, but it didn't work. <laughs> you probably did need to use a fireball, perhaps, for that <laughs> to occur. Yeah, and you can tell they're like about five feet apart, too. They're just kind of like okay. hanging. That's like a the, prime uh, they were, frying lightning bolt scenario, though. That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So, Sokron, it is your turn. Uh, would that hit because I'm I'm kind of, like, on top, right? I'd have to aim down. You'd have to aim it down. It wouldn't hit all of them. Well, what's your range on that? The, the, the lightning bolt is, like, 100 yeah, you'd, feet you'd, or something. You'd, you'd be able to do that. Okay. But if you what? consider it's going diagonal, then... That's okay. Just jump into the pit. You'll be fine. Ah, yeah. Easy. It's only what? 25 feet. 25 feet. Open easy. Up the pit. Open up this pit. Do it. Easy. Really? All right. I jumped down. <laughs> you jumped down? Uh, all right. Uh, make an athletics check. <laughs> oh, I'm so athletic. You don't even know. Oh, man. He's going to die. He's fine. Oh. Wow, he actually makes it. All right. <laughs> He's fine, like I said. Okay. Uh, how come, how come uh, Sokron's like invincible? He's like an extraordinary I know. <laughs> wizard. We've he can see the future. He's We've established wizard. this. And then I cast Lightning Bolt. All oh, right. that's so juicy. The di DC yes. Right. All right, watch this. I'm going to try this. See how cool this is. This is like a wizard's wet Ooh. dream right here. Them all lined up in a <laughs> also row. like beautiful. Uh, why isn't it doing it? Come on. Uh, I don't want. Is it gonna do the? It's doing. It's gonna do a mass uh like roll for them. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, without getting you in there. If you if you get in there somehow, <laughs> just ignore it. Yeah, it's fine. All right, here we go. Yep, my damage. It's a DC check. Hey. DC, when I jump down, I do like the superhero landing. Submit. And then. DC is, <laughs> what's the DC? 14? 14. 14 decks. And you got a roll too. 38. Yeah, that is a really good roll. Yeah. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. Did it work? It questioning work. how these stationary plants are dodging in the first place. <laughs> They're just wiggling about. Yeah. They're like, look, 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 look. Yeah, actually, <laughs> why didn't it do it? <laughs> They're shaking aggressively. I think at <laughs> bare minimum, they'll do 19 lightning damage. Yeah, at a bare minimum. They're, are, you sure, they're though, they're, are you sure, though? Because they're. Are sure, though? Because they're grounded. Katie. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't Pokemon. <laughs> No, grounded. Not ground type, grounded, as in a ground wire. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, tumbleweeds. Too smart for your own good, Solwyn. The tumbleweeds. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're. Yeah, I think he's gonna get all of them on this because they don't have that. Woo! But, for some reason, the AP. Doesn't wanna do it. I have four different plants to go through before it's Yulia and Boxy's turn. You got time to spare. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Ignore it on Socron. Boom. Yay! One survived. Woo! One made it. <laughs> there we go. That is a resilient little bugger. Yeah, you right? See, you see how that worked? Once I got it in the box, it worked really good. Okay. 
instead of rolling <laughs> for each one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and you actually, did it, uh, Sokren. There's one left. Who wants to take care of it? Owen. More lightning. Let's see. <laughs> that one's dead. That one's dead. But actually, that one can't move. So, Yubia, it is your turn next. Cause they're, I'm they're, not doing anything. They're not I'm just chilling. <laughs> just, just, so we're, just, so we're, just so we're clear, our party's wizard just jumped down into a pit and wasted a third level spell slot to kill a bunch of plants we literally could have walked away from. <laughs> it didn't well, die when know. I hit it with the firebolt. Welcome this to is... TNB, everybody. <laughs> All right. All right, Boxy, he, needs to, he needs to practice. I'm just okay. like, I hear a shit ton of lightning, and I'm just like, are you guys okay? <laughs> yeah, just so crunch. I just doing a massive lightning so crunch things. Okay. It was like, only one spell. It's fine. Yeah, I look at Yulia, I shrug, and I just like stay back. All right. I guess they got We're almost handle. done anyway. Pff, come on. How was that? The All plants, right. like, the plants just looked at Sokran the wrong way, and Sokran's like, all right, Solon. <laughs> Solon, what are you going to do? It well, I'm going to get up towards the edge, and I might as well lightning launch her. Okay. Or lightning. I can do it, too. Roll to hit. Yeah, I can do it. <laughs> it's a uh, 12 to hit. That hits. All right, so that's going to be eight points of lightning. Okay. We're going to add in the once per turn Okay. for an extra four. Okay. Still going. Still up. All right. One more. Okay. It's a natural one for an eight. Nope. That misses. Okay. Well, might as well try Sparks. <laughs> See if he'll finish this thing. Ah, uh, he's got to be within 30 feet, so... Alright, so starting from there, about... Come on, suck. Alright, I'll move back, leave him there, alright. So about 5, 10, 15, 20-ish. Eh, it should be close enough. Okay. Alright, so doing the thing. Go ahead. Oh, that's sure to hit 16. That hits. Go ahead and do damage. That is gonna... Come on. 1d4 plus 2. That's 3 force. Alright, and Spark saves the day. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> so, you guys made short work of these. Easy. Alright. From... <laughs> <Just sparks. laughs> As Sayoran pointed out, from plants that weren't even moving. Hey, they didn't Listen, die when I hit They it. could have. We don't know. That's, you're right. They <laughs> Snuck up on us in our sleep. <laughs> Watch, guys. I'm going to look around. The oh, rod's no. going to be down here. And then we'll get to Nightmare sleep. Nightmare fuel. Lots of spiders, I bet. So you're going to look around in the... the uh, yeah, because you're... You're 25 feet down in the pit. What are you gonna do? Yeah, I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm gonna look around and see if there's anything. <laughs> right. Of, uh, should I do investigation or perception? Make investigation. Yeah. Twelve. All right. Okay. Twelve. Okay. Uh, you're seeing lots of uh, um, damaged, burnt up shrubbery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a nice Risky. one, but not too expensive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you find lots of shrubbery. Okay. Nothing uh <laughs> nothing good then. Nope. Oh well. I saw one give me a hand. Yeah, sure. If I'm gonna get, send get, sparks. Go ahead. If we get ambushed in the middle of the night by a bunch of weirdly named knights, I blame you both. <laughs> so anyway i'm gonna send sparks down and through the brilliance that is homunculus servants delivering touch spells i'm gonna cast spider climb using the staff okay all right 
Yep, alright, so that will actually help him get out of the pit. Yep. Yep, and, and... for the next hour, he can climb on walls. Alright. That's what he's always wanted. I'm Spider-Man. Uh, that's through walls, but we're going that way anyway. I jumped, I climbed above it, and then on top. Come on. <laughs> There's a ceiling. Yeah. Climbed there is across the ceiling too. Just scuttled along. Uh, the man went through right. the wall on my perspective. <laughs> you sure got them plants, guys. Let's go. Was it worth it? Yes. <laughs> Always. He's to like, him, at Because now those plants will never hurt anybody okay. else ever again. He was I'm like, until they, <laughs> they grow again. Until they grow again. Until they grow. And then they'll go stronger and evolve, and then they'll kill us. I, I, I blame Yulia. She's like, that, that's like a wizard's wet dream right there. It oh, is. That. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what would happen? Like, How can you resist? <laughs> Ooh, the stars have a line for this moment. <laughs> I, must, I must flex my many dice. <laughs> I've been training my whole life at this one moment. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like a bunch of like thorny plants. Yeah, and see, like, the, the really yeah. funny thing is, out of character, I knew that he would do it because he always makes his athletics checks, even though he's a wimpy wizard anyway. So it's just like a perfect moment to watch him <laughs> fail, and then he never does. <laughs> I know, he's like, he's a ninja wizard. He's awesome. <laughs> he is. Uh... Secretly, he multi-classed a monk. You guys didn't know it. <laughs> right? That's what it, it legit feels like, that, though. He's I mean, I basically went down our once. group safe, and you don't expect him to do such amazing things, but he just does it, and he's all nonchalant about it. <laughs> he's like, and then guys, when I actually try to do plans. stuff that I'm good at, I fail, so it's good. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> Told the dead, for instance. <laughs> Yeah, All that's right. not fair. <laughs> Lead the way. All right. <laughs> All right. And you guys continue your journey. I take it you're going south. Yes, Correct. we are. Yes. Okay. Yep. Go ahead. Following Sayorin. Following the techies. I'm having uh, keyboard issues. For whatever reason, the, the USB keyboard that I use, the wireless one, <laughs> lag. Like, every once in a while, it'll insanely lag, and it won't do what I want it to, and then it'll do it all at once. So I'm trying not uh, to, like, crash into the other end of the wall until I get a wired keyboard. <laughs> and as you guys make start making your way, begin to cough. Oh, yay. Yeah, and... Oh. Great. But we haven't even spent 15 minutes in here yet. He doesn't care. It's the first, it. it's the first um, <laughs> entrance, entry point in. You take one point of damage. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm dying. You got it. You turn back. <laughs> we, need, we need a long rest. All right. T turn back. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not going to save the world after all. <laughs> Okay. So uh, already no. I guess I'm going through the door. I already went through the door. Yep. Oh, we've already been in this hallway, haven't we? Yep. Yeah, this has all been yeah. open. Yeah. Um, Say hi to all the haunted little dudes. I'm going to come back here because I don't know if we've been in this door yet because it's still uh, locked off. Same we have ways. not. Because it's not a door. It's it's a... Uh, Wait, that's a table. That's, that's a, a table one, right? It was something. What? It wasn't a door, though. Oh, we it, still it, need to play uh, pelote. I, I, I the pull it up is all, it, you, you're seeing here in this room. This is that um, the jaguar with the the warrior. Yes, the stone. That is, was the the west door. You're seeing it's uh, the stone. It's ten feet across and it's mounted five feet above the floor over a stone altar. On the altar rests a ceremonial dagger of flint and a jade statue of a cat. At the foot of the altar is a stuffed cat posed as if begging or attempting to catch something in the air. It's the ball. It's the pelota. We gotta find the pelota, right? Because we don't have one. No, we never. We never. We will just, just... do like. Sorry, good. 
No, I was just saying we just found the, the the both the things. We never found something to put into it. Yeah. Okay. So what you're seeing, and see. you're seeing on this this stone that's attached to the wall as you look at it a little closer. Um, Sokron, because you're so good with the uh, Oman culture, you recognize this as a calendar. In the center of this calendar, you see a symbol of the sun surrounded with various sigils depicting seasons of the year. Hey guys, this is a calendar. Mm. Is there any sort of markings that maybe show what day it is or anything like that or something? Uh, no, you're not seeing anything like that. I mean, okay. It's just a seasonal calendar. It kind of shows the seasons of the year. Mm. Interesting. What do y'all think we should do? I think we should uh, make bow like they did in old days and uh, decapitate somebody. Hmm. So, Owen, you volunteer? <laughs> no, it should be you, Sokran. You survived. <laughs> no, Sokran, it should be you. You survived everything else so far. <laughs> you can I mean, survive I... this too, no? <laughs> I won't mind playing. Hey, look, how about, am I too big to be the ball? I can just go in my shell and you can toss me around. Oh, this isn't the ballroom. This is the calendar room where you're looking yeah. at here. Oh. Yeah, yeah. this is, uh, yeah, like I said, on, on the altar in front of this calendar, you're seeing, the, you're seeing a ceremonial dagger and a jade statue of a cat. Jade the, uh, statue. It's reaching out for something, right? Yep, and it's 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 posed as if it's begging or tent, you know, like a cat playing in the you know with something in the air. I mean, is it is Aww. it a statue or a statuette? Because I, I I just asked for clarification because to me these it's a would statuette. be statues. Yeah, they, they, that's a, yeah, it's a statuette. Left okay. Left on the altar. Yep, and it's okay. made of jade. Oh, she's. Just... I mean, What's it's not a we... small statuette. I mean, anybody who picks it up, if you want to pick it up. What if we remember put... the last time we picked something up? <laughs> I'm not going to assume you picked it up. What so... if we put the dagger into uh, its head? Where are you going to oh. put, put dagger? Where? The uh, what I'm asking the the party. What if we put the uh, ceremonial ceremonial dagger into a uh, hand of the uh, cat man? A cat? Because I cannot say. I don't know. I I will try to with this accent. Jaguar. Oh, that wasn't that. You're gonna use your, <laughs> your mechanical doohickeys? Yeah, I... use your little drone. Yes, this, that is a good idea. We should all take... Uh, maybe I must step back. in this room and go ahead. <laughs> and I will wait for everyone to clear area if they are going to clear because now I am casting, making mage hand drone. And I'm going to pick up the dagger and try to maneuver it to put into hand of statuette. See what happens. Uh, and actually, as soon as you pick up the dagger... Death. Yeah. <laughs> Spikes come down from ceiling? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> and you're and <laughs> owl bears pop out of the ceiling. <laughs> oh. oh. Wonderful. We have new friend. Uh, the... the hey. Yes. It animates. And, it be, and it's very hostile. Not happy that you're in its area. Just as a reminder, what this looked like. Can I fling ceremonial <laughs> dagger at the panther? Oh, uh, jaguar. No, well, you can if you when it's your turn. Oh. <laughs> you can do whatever you want on your turn. But because oh, it's unfortunate. <laughs> because you awakened. I mean, mage hand can't actually make attacks. To be fair. Okay. Well, if it wasn't going to be attack, I was literally going to throw a dagger at it. Whether or not it hits is irrelevant. <laughs> and just eat the dagger. Oh, God, fucking shit initiative. Uh, the the next it. character I make is going to be all about just jacking the initiative as high as it could possibly fucking go. <laughs> I'll mean... make it like a dexterity based Twilight cl cleric if I fucking have to. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Just give I me mean, the. Dex clerics are fun. I mean, you can eventually make a Helm of Awareness, I believe, uh, the replicate magic item. Yeah, like 13th level or some shit for me. Uh, let me see. You just are... As, I'd just as soon get a Sentinel Shield, same damn thing. <laughs> what level anyway. fighter are you? Three. 
Three levels of fighter. That's if I decide to stay. Artificer. Uh, oh, we'll so figure that out after game. I'm not worried about it right now. I mean, it's probably too late now, but I didn't notice they had like some like hole in his chest, or is that just the piece broken off, or does it look like something that could go in in it? Okay, everybody in the initiative. All right, let's go. Let's see, Brian, he had a question. Go ahead. Yep. So I noticed that the the jaguar had some like circle or something in his chest. Yep. Is that just broken part, or does it look like something could fit in there? Um, what, um, he, you see, what it is, it's a jagged scar running across the, his chest above the heart, and it's like it's sunk in. Looks like there's a hole there. Mm -hmm. Damn it, if he didn't okay. want, come to life, I would have tried to put the heart in there that I have still. Uh, All right, Boxy. <laughs> well, I'm gonna, well, shit, I'm gonna come up and attack it. <laughs> okay. Ah! Roll to hit. All right. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the first that, one was a nine. That will miss. Yeah, there's the second one. All right, 22. That'll definitely hit. Yeah, hey. go, go, reckless attack. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Uh, nine. Yeah. All right. Yep. So, nine. nine. Okay. Nine. All right. Anything else? Uh, that's it for right now. All right. So win. All right, gonna move over five, and then lightning launcher. As okay. Per usual. Okay. It's uh, an eleven. That will miss. Yeah, of course. All right, second attack. Eh, thirteen. A thirteen will hit. Okay, good. So that's six points of lightning damage, and of course we're doing the extra d6. Okay. That's another five tacked on. Okay. And then gonna be commanding sparks. He's gonna five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. He's gonna be five feet up in the air roughly and he's gonna help action give advantage to uh frick say yarn okay add a brain fart no worries right, i was getting tea and yelling at my kid for not taking out the trash what's happening with me he's giving You're me advantage. advantage oh After cool help. yep all right anything else any movement uh no i'm fine back here okay and with that said, okay, it is Sokron's turn. I peek through the door and cast Toll the Dead. All right. Yulia, what did you roll? I don't think it went through. Yeah, I, I want to make sure you get in there. <laughs> oh. Seven. Okay. I'll, I'll put so you So it works out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes. Reset it, cycle back to Sokran. Well, I will add her in there. Seven. I mean, she is in there now. Oh, okay. I'll shoot. Yeah, you just add a second initiative to her. You want to go twice? <laughs> I'll just put it up. You, you just got to recycle it. She'll be going after the Jaguar. Yep, that's where I'm putting her. See? Uh, didn't do it. Wrong way. Yep. There One we below. go. All right. All right. It's uh, told the dead. <laughs> okay. Wisdom so, save. A wisdom save. Okay. DC 14. DC 14. Okay. Uh, um, wisdom. Okay. Oh, so how much she takes? 11? 11. 11. Okay. Necrotic. All right. Okay. And then I just go back. Oh, all right. Or all maybe right. considering what he is, it's Necorotic. <laughs> all right, so it is the weird Jaguar's turn, and it's going to attack Boxy, the one that approached. <laughs> and see. It is going to. 
I believe that will hit for eight. Oh. And I believe that will hit for another six. Uh, so, um, bad yeah. kitty. <laughs> so that's fourteen points. Okay. Yulia. All right. Um, I'm going to slide through here. up to this big baddie and I'm going to find my character sheet. Okay. Wherever that went. There it is. And I'm going to just swing at it with the rapier. Okay. So. Roll to hit. Ten probably misses. That will miss. Second attack. Okay. Twenty-four. That will hit. So he takes... Seven piercing damage. Okay. And then I'll bonus action offhand. Another 24. That will hit, yep. Or 10. Okay. And since I get 10 feet back, I'm just going to go ahead and slide this way. Not out of his range, but. Okay. All right. So, so you're and you have advantage. Say so Orn. All right. I yeah. will. Oh, it is still alive. This is rare. Okay. It... I will approach and uh, apparently leave echo. And I will hit it with booming blade. Okay. Uh, nope. Uh, that's uh, There we go. Uh, that will hit. Austerity. Yep, you get a banner, so. Yes. I forgot about that. Okay, so it All right, takes... still hits. Yep. One. Eleven points of thunder damage. Okay. And if it moves by the next turn, it takes another fourteen. Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> All and, right. Uh, this is uh. Yeah, I do not need to summon Echo for this. Okay. All right, we go to round two. Oh, I keep forgetting end of turn button. Don't worry. Um. Yeah. All Same. right. Yeah, I've been doing it anyways. So, Boxy, it's your turn. Thank you. All right. Well, I'm gonna hit this guy again. I'm gonna do it recklessly. Okay. Bad kitty. Down kitty. <laughs> Fourteen. <laughs> That will hit. Yeah. All right. So that is 11 bludgeoning. And here's the second attack. 12. A 12 will hit. Oh, hey. Nice. That means he's strong but slow. <laughs> <laughs> For another 11 points of bonk. Another 11. Yep. Another bonk for right. 11. No, kitty. No. You guys have done a lot of damage to it. Anybody That's all. Can... That's my turn. Okay. If anybody's been keeping track. <laughs> so, and. All right. Move in position and. Yeah. He's at Casty Blasty. Watch for the lightning. It gets nasty. <laughs> Speaking of nasty. Yep, that will miss. Right fail. <laughs> <laughs> All right, second attack. Okay, that is many times better. So that's yep, that'll hit. nine lightning and an extra five. So 14 total. Okay, that's a good one. That was a good roll that time. Yep. Okay. Still right. going, ain't he? Yep, he's still up. All right, then let's use the help action. We're going to give it... Um, let's give it to Sokran. Okay. <laughs> All right, Sokran, it is your turn. All right. Well, I guess I'll just do a fireball since he gave me the help. <laughs> All right. Wow, Didn't he gets a it. crit. <laughs> so, Didn't need uh, it. I know, right? <laughs> And he does 13 points. Okay. And he's still up. 
Burn, baby, burn. And again. And that's it. All right. Let's see. He's not too happy, so he's he's got three targets within range. So he's who is he going to go after? Each of you hit him. Um, he is aware that he is sheathed in the booming energy, so he's he knows that if he attacks anybody but me, he's got disadvantage. Uh, he's not very sent. He's not that intelligent. <laughs> yeah. Because you got to remember. This uh, oh no, I'm sorry. Uh, that's the booming blade effect. I'm not sure if he knows. With the thunder gauntlet. Yeah. All right. So oh he... yeah, just this magically emits a pulse when he hits someone else. I guess he doesn't know. Yep. So he's gonna attack Boxy. So eleven, 11. will miss. <gasps> Wah! And a huh, six will miss. Okay. Good fan. Okay. All right, Yulia. <laughs> I'm gonna just do the same thing. I'm gonna try and uh, swirl and slash him down. Okay. 16 hit. That does, yep. All right, so six piercing. Okay. Attack two, 12 probably misses. A 12 does just hit, yep. So bonus action offhand. Oh, even worse. Well, the, the 12 hits. The right so. beer hits. 12 hits. Oh, it does. Yep. yep, so do your damage. All right, so six again. Oh, right, and with that second attack, um, you come in, and how do you do it? I decapitate it. I decapitate it, and the head goes rolling. And the creature turns to stone again. Excellent. Stop picking up shit. <laughs> it wasn't me this time. It wasn't shit, it was a dagger. <laughs> I know, Boxy. It was a play on words. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Thank you, though. So we are out of combat. Yep. <laughs> but you do have a dagger. That's really nice. Nothing else changed in the room? No. Everything's just... Nope. It all it remains the same. Interesting. I will once again attempt to direct the mage hand drone to put the dagger in the hand of the statue. Okay. As you do so, I mean, yeah, nothing happens. Does the statue fall over? <laughs> yeah, it just yeah, it just knocks over. <laughs> well, pick it up, pick it up. I mean, it fell over and nothing happened, so yeah, I'll uh, I will take the uh, dagger and the. Uh, <laughs> statuette? I'm assuming statuette is more than five pounds. It's, yeah, you pick it up and you yeah. give it, it I, weighs I will, about nine pounds, actually. Yeah, I, I will uh, take statuette, and it is, it is made of jade, so it must be worth something. I will put it into the chest. And uh, you found the sacrificial knife that, uh, yep. Can it's I a, examine dagger. that uh, statuette real quick there, Sailor? Of course. Here. Uh, I kind of like pick it up and like you know turn it around in my hands. Does this seem like what the contact described that he would look for? The material wasn't specific, but the 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 type of like relic. So um, he just told you it was like a puzzle box. Puzzle box. I thought yeah. he would. He said he would buy the other mm -hmm. relics, but it wasn't necessarily the specific thing he was looking for. That's right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Thank you. And I just hand it back to him. Of course. I I have someone that we can get these to that'll pay for them when we return. Ooh. Excellent. That's nice. Do we want to uh, pay vision to that Jaguar in that room over there to the left or continue going down? Mm. Well, I would say... If we were to explore the uh, the unexplored unexplored places as we planned, we should probably start with the deepest one first. Then let's head there. Let's go yeah, there. so that we could be our healthiest and work our way back out. Yes. Mm -hmm. A hundred percent agree. I will. Uh, Makes all the fun out of it. Walk at brisk pace. Uh -oh. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay. Okay. Where do, 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 do. Where do you guys go? 
This is the room with the with the with the hole, right? Right. Oh, right. shit! With the the game. I will. Yeah. Um, yeah. I will. I will take off armor, and hold it as I sneak past the uh, weird-looking eyeball thing. Uh, I might have to reset. Uh... Because I I remember that now. <laughs> oh, okay, fifteen. Oh, we gotta be sneakies. Oh. One minute, guys. I gotta reset rule twenty. Okay. Oh. If, if, okay. And then once I am in the position where I am now, if I successfully snuck past, I will put armor back on. No cling clanging today. No, I am Okay, smart. I try my best. Yeah. Yeah. Roll, not to cling clang. Roll twenty just decided to. I'm gonna freeze. Ah, uh, just poop out. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. It happens. I know it does. All right, here we go. So stealthy. It's gathering steam now. Oh. Hey. Super stealth. Okay. That All is stealth. why you posterity roll. <laughs> All right. Wow, he's so sneaky. All oh, right. we're so sneaky. <laughs> All right. Where are you guys? We're up we towards are the sneaking eyes. by that uh, creature that we snuck okay. by. Eyeball. Okay. And Sayorin got a 15. He took his armor off, so he's not getting the disadvantage. Okay. Jojo, or so Crown got 21. Boxy got a 17. I got a 22 on a crit after advantage. And Yulia has a 26. Yeah. As you know, there's no, in uh, 5e, there's no uh, crit or fumbles on ability check scores. There's no fumbles mm. on attacks either. Well, it just looks pretty. Yeah. Okay. So serotonin is real. Okay. So where's Yulia? I don't see her with you guys. I didn't move my token, but okay. she's there now. <laughs> okay. Oh, there she is. Um, we have. I mean, she problem. got the best stealth. Yeah, we're stuck here, aren't we? Yes. This is hallway with block. Block is at the end of uh, the rollers. Can we pull the Other block on this think? side? We can. You want to pull? It was hard. It took all of us to push Maybe it the can, block up here. Well, if we push it the other way, if we push it the other way, it may not budge slash go anywhere. Or block off where we need to go to. Yes. So we may we have, need to find another way around. We have two choices. We either pick away at it for how who knows how long with uh, Solwyn's spider stuff, or we go through the uh, room with the eyeball. We were, we're feeling pretty good. We snuck by before because we weren't. We were trying to get out of the gas. I think that we could push through. It looked similar to that one thing from the room with the water in it. So let's go punch the eyeball in the eyeball. Yes. Let's okay. Go. Yeah, we can do this. Ah, fuck do I, oh, we need to sneak? We don't need to sneak, right? Oh, I will. Go. We could sneak to get close to it and then jump in. Okay. I will, maybe. I am okay. not taking off armor to sneak this time. <laughs> okay. All right. As you guys make your way up. <laughs> this is a space. <laughs> I'll read the room description. This is a spacious vaulted hall, weathered and cracked from the ravages of time. The walls are charred and scored. Scattered around the floor are several stone statues of baboon-like creatures. Chipped and tipped over, the remains of a few once-living baboons, partially eaten, lie nearby, with fungus covering their corpses. Ahead, as you're coming around the corner, something spherical floats in the air, at about chest height. The spear has a central eye and about a dozen tentacles growing out of its top. Each appendage has a white spear with a black pupil at its tip. Oh I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going? Well, I already confirmed myself that it's not a beholder. So the danger is... Goddamn better not be a fucking this level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the danger is... <laughs> Still unknown, but it's not avoid at all costs. Yeah, it's not catastrophic. <laughs> yeah. Like 
Still I, don't know uh, what this can do, but... Well, uh, let us find out. Does it will... seem like it has noticed us at all? It's just floating about. Okay. I mean, it's probably um, noticed it. We. I was just thinking that, like, let me it's go first. It. I'll, Wait. I'll oh. take a... I'll take a chance and see if it reacts. What and if, if it does, you guys come back me at. What if I see an echo first? I uh, was going to say... Back me up regardless? I say we should all make a run for it because we don't want to be all stuck in the, in, in the hallway if it does go south. But what... Oh. If anything, okay. I probably agree with using the echo. It's, in essence, probably the best decoy we can ask for. Yeah, it just doesn't. I don't know. Like you can't. It, okay, go ahead. It the the echo cannot do what Yulia can do. Yeah, that's yes. that was yeah. what I was gonna say, but I didn't want to make you feel bad. Is it like facing the door? No, Is it's it just kind of floating about. Way? It's floating about. You know. Is it like its eye like? No. away from us you can't see it's just kind of oh. like wandering back and forth okay i was gonna say maybe yeah, we could just not doing behind it but yeah. i will send echo inside and see if it does anything i i will send echo far enough to walk across the room until it disappears at the end of my turn okay Oof. yeah it's not really reacting oh. i nod at Yulia. okay well Oh, Yulia, it's your turn. Your turn. All right, I will. Let's see. I will just do another stealth check again, just in case. Mm -hmm. Oh, Very nice. A million. Another twenty-six. <laughs> Dang. I'm gonna Woo! go around the edge. Tell me if I have to stop. Oh, it's just kind of hanging out. Okay. Um. Yeah, it doesn't. I'll seem send a message to Sayorin and say, well, let him know that it didn't do anything. Come over this way. I will uh, move over here and then go. Yulia says he's okay. Go, go. And I will okay. hold my action to rush in there if I have to. Okay. Boop. The, uh, Boop. the wizard ninja Boop. goes. Boop. Yep. 100%. Boop. Boop. Bam, 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 bam. Mm -hmm. So then go. You go next. Uh, okay. Coming up, and I'll make that advantageous stealth. First rolls a 12, second rolls a 15. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ah, oh, so shit. when it starts floating towards you, <gasps> and we go to someone. initiative. Close. <laughs> Nearly Not bad. Had it. Nearly Not had bad. it. <laughs> nice roll, though, uh, D. I see it. I yeah. see it. <laughs> she like becomes one with the wall. She's like, "Oh shit, I'm doing it." <laughs> God. My, my initiative is like progressively getting worse throughout the night. <laughs> you just don't go. You just y'all made me. Y'all made me waste my oh, dang. one. Y'all made me waste my highest roll of a five on fucking rosebuds. All right. Hey, so it's okay. Here. Okay, so we're all in. Just getting them out of the way. I know. All right. I could better be. Sokron, you're up first. Okay. You, you, um, I mean, you were able, you noticed it didn't respond to you or Yulia. Um, so so when he was just... coming through, he kicked a rock and it got this, uh, this floating spear's attention and it floated right towards him. Okay, I'm gonna. Does move. it look hostile? Um, I mean, you don't. It doesn't have. Can't have tell. Facial, yeah, it doesn't have facial expressions. It doesn't look <laughs> friendly. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna move here. I mean, it's hard to get a friendly reading off this thing. It's just but it, it clearly moved reading. towards. Solo one, so I mean that I take that as a threat, so I am going to uh scorching ray. Okay. Jesus. Oh god, I didn't do Watch oh. it's it's full of flammable gas. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay. How much, <laughs> that, how much damage did you do? Eleven on the first. Okay. Second well, one. I need. And as you do that, I need so. I need. Three. Let's see. Yeah, it the, did it, explode. <laughs> it did. And it, oh, boy. Uh, yeah. So when you do that, it explodes and a bunch of spores come out. Oh, I thought it was big fire explosion. And so Solwyn, Yulia, and Sokron, you need to make a. Let's see. T -t -t -t, oh, I didn't see any times. Must make us. Make a con saving throw. Okay, oh, I'm, I'm so confident. Good at those. I'm confident. If... Okay, yeah. So you all really? fail. Still feeling confident. <laughs> and you each take. Five points of poison damage, uh, and become and you're infected with a disease. Ooh. More like confident. Okay, so Sparks didn't need to make that save either, because he's immune to poison. Yeah, so, and also, I'll let you know, you don't feel very well. No. And, <laughs> um, write this down for each of you. Um, all right. I can tell you right now that we're going to not deal with this <laughs> okay okay yes so what am i writing down write down that three plus your constitution score plus my constitution yep okay i'm gonna just put it there so i don't forget okay so, what's your number like 17. 17. Okay. So, Kron, what's your number? 15. 15. And so, when, what's your number? So, it's the 3 plus my con modifier? No, your constitution score. The score? Uh, 17. Okay. So, 17, 17, 15. Okay. All right. I will take note of that. Thank you, guys. I gotta die. I don't think we have to, D. No. Only those within 20 oh. feet. <laughs> just like, ew. Yeah. That's gross. Yep, yeah, you see all those spores, and then they all got, you know, Sokron came in blazing. He took out this gas spore. Well, little did he know, it was like a booby trap. And that booby trap went yeah. off when he did so, and it sent spores everywhere. See, Boxy, this is why you let the crazy ones go first. <laughs> <laughs> why aren't I over there? <laughs> I'm gonna wait until uh, the spore cloud disperses. <laughs> it dissipates. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good idea. Same. Okay. So, wait at the edge of the cloud. Can here. I tell that I like have contracted something that oh, is very oh, yeah, bad? You, yeah, yeah, you can tell you're very sick. You're not feeling well at all. Okay, so if the room is clear of danger because he exploded, mm -hmm. I'm going to attempt. I'm gonna put my hand like over my collarbone and I'm gonna uh, hum a little bit, and you'll see the hand glow, and then start to gr glow and darken to black and then disappear and I'm going to cast lesser restoration on myself. Okay. You do so. Okay. All right. And you begin to feel better. All right. So if I feel like it worked, then I'm going to say if you are also not feeling well, come over to me. I'm going to like raise my hand a little. <laughs> All right. I'm like, <laughs> all right. There we go. No more diseases. So Get you, out of here. Yep, you cured them all. <laughs> okay. Yep. And don't you, I don't mess with that. You, <laughs> I don't mess with and, that. Uh, <laughs> since you since you did that, 
you would know that uh, those numbers I had you write down were the number of hours you had left in your life. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, God damn. <laughs> yeah, we don't, ma- we, don't mess. we don't mess with diseases or, or anything like that. Yeah, that, yeah, that, bur- that burst was called a death burst. Yeah, we're just we're just gonna go take a long rest real quick after we're done with the the coffin, dude. Just go ahead. Just just me and Boxy are left. <laughs> we just wake Lord. up and they're all dead. <laughs> it's possible. I mean, don't worry. if someone doesn't take that spell, right? Like, it's yeah. Like, it's like, don't worry. We'll take care of it when we get back to town. <laughs> nope. I thought it was gonna be a disease, not parish song. God. <laughs> Alright, it does look like there's stairs down here, you guys. Uh, Is it clear? Go. Is there any more gross stuff? Can we go past? Uh, it looks clear. clear right? Is okay. This stone bench or stone chest? <laughs> yes. Okay. Alright. Uh, as you're going down the stairs, let me read it to you first before you go any further. And I will describe what you're seeing. Alright. Now the question is, does Julie want to say, oh, you were going to die from this? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, necessarily. Okay. As you... <laughs> I just cured it. <laughs> All right. This corridor ascends from west to the east in a series of short, gently sloped staircases. Imagine if we had done that fight when we were tapped out, though. <sighs> We'd still be good because it's eight hours for a long rest. So, if we say it, that, <laughs> but we would have I... taken the eight hours, and then we would have been like, "Damn, I still feel like shit." Yeah. <laughs> or if you just had picked up that spell at all. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> <but>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're like, no, I'm good. I just take organic organic stuff. I don't really need spells. Oh, we yeah, those so essential oils. TPK. Yeah. <laughs> I was sounds. about to not be the only original member. <laughs> um, what is this right in front of me? Is Brian, I think you're muted. It's a stone. It's a bench. No, uh, he was looking away for yeah, a it's, it's a stone here. bench. Okay. It's a plane. <laughs> yeah, there, it's just a, you know part of the wall there you're seeing. Yep. Oh. Okay. Here we continue. Guess we'll head down the stairs and, and, and hope it doesn't turn into like some shrich, uh, chi shrich flight of doom. Exactly. Giant <laughs> ball is going to come down. I'll go and approach and examine the door here. Indiana Jones. Style. Okay. Oh. You, you're going all the way down. Okay. Go back up to where Socron's at. Oh, lovely. That, oh, that, great. That's what, that's what this thing is right here. It's going to be like a rolling stone tube just down the stairs. Okay. <laughs> and I need everybody to make a dexterity save. <laughs> God, <damn it. laughs> I'm just going to stop great. going with the group. Okay. Uh, fails. 15. Uh, four. Fails. Okay, so, so when you pass, you're the only one who passes. Uh, give me a sec, because I think technically Sparks needs to do this too. And, uh, yeah. He at least has advantage, because he has the evasion feature. Yep. Good thing he has the evasion feature. Jesus. Right, Jeez, uh, Sparks. Uh, roll number two. <laughs> Okay, much better. You got higher than me, so. Yep. Okay, so everybody, but Solon and Spark takes twenty-one points of damage. Shit. A millstone concealed in a wall behind a layer of stucco comes rolling as you get as you start walking, and a pressure point is released. It releases at the top of the stairs. The top, and it rolls down. Oh wow! Yes. How much was it? 21 points of... 5d10, and it only did 21, so you guys got lucky. (laughs) (laughs) Jeez, we're just like... 
Like, Ryan's really trying to kill us today. <laughs> just, just when I think that it's, you know, safe and covered to not look for a trap, there's a trap. I know. I was like, you guys just walking down the stairs. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was going to check the door, but not the, uh, not not the stairs. Didn't you at one point say something about us going through Tomb of Annihilation in the future? Or this something. is right? it already. The tomb of so... We're going to do great. Yeah, this is the preparation for that one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, so, so now fun. that we are nearly <laughs> ground to a pulp, I'm going to say, okay, uh, we're going to take a short break here. I think that I almost sprained my shoulder trying to dodge out of the way of that. So I uh, dodged? <laughs> so it was a save or suck effect? I don't take like half of it? Nope, it was, a, it was a, you either get rolled or you get out of the way. Okay, good. Yep. And it, it, as it comes down, it comes crashing into the doors at the bottom of the stairs and it breaks into Ow. bits all over. Hey, well at least you don't have to worry about the door anymore. <laughs> okay, um, so I don't think you guys I, are a fan of the Rolling Stones anymore. Yeah, um, Can we take a short rest or not? Well, oh, that's what I was about to ask. Without trying to be metagamey, can we take a short rest? Because you said that door just shattered open. It's, it's, it, no, it just it, the door didn't shatter open itself. It shattered the the, the the rock. The rock shattered. The rock that what ran into it. What the hell is that door? A 5D10 millstone. What is that door made out of? <laughs> They're metal. Stronger stuff. Stronger. <laughs> a stronger millstone. <laughs> the, the door is just flexing back. I'm built different. <laughs> Harder. Better. Faster, yeah, so stronger. I'll Faster, go back to the top of the stairs and ask everyone to just let me get a breather and take a short rest. I have lots of hit dice, so I'm going to use them. I Do will it. make some snacks for everybody. Do we want to go somewhere we safer to rest? Yeah, no, this we're is take good a, here. We, the gas is still here. We're going to be taking damage. Well, the, the amount we can recover... You know. It's going to be more than <laughs> what we take. 1d8 versus the 20-something we're missing right now. <laughs> yeah, I need to take a short rest, so. Um, the millstone got a blackjack. I haven't, uh, <laughs> I haven't cooked in a while. <laughs> if I recall correctly, you get Alex. an additional hit point per hit I spent. All right, are you guys, you guys going to take a short rest here? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, and of course you guys will take four points of damage. Okay, so I'll do the take away the damage first. Uh, okay. one more point, and I would have been passed out. Yeah, exactly. Oh, you were one hit point away from going yeah. down. Jesus. Uh, so much for joking about okay, wizards so being paper. Four. I'll return to the oh, Get some water. I'm gonna be cheesy, and I'm gonna use my second wind oh, yes. before we rest. <laughs> Nine. All right. All right, go ahead. You can do that. I'll Eight. roll a hit dice. So that'll be six points I regain. Ten. So... And then I get an extra d6 for Song of Rest. Eight. Eight. So six. So I'm back to full now. We're good. A d6 from the rest thing, you say? Yep. That's <laughs> an extra six. So I'm back to full after. Yeah, I'm back to full and I still technically have what? Three hit or two, two hit dice. Three hit I dice. used all my hit dice. I've got two left. What, what, what extra do I roll? A One D6. six. Just one d six per die, or one d six. Just one d six. Yeah, just just. Well, her effect is one d six. My effect is plus one hit point per hit dice spent. Okay, so I get plus four, or plus three. I use three. No, I use four. So plus four. Well, you you can spend, you can spend them in succession. So if three isn't enough, you can spend the fourth. I'd spend all the all I had. I I spent four. Yeah. What's the matter, Mr. Invincible Wizard? Well, that's what I was like. <laughs> I mean, one bad save is all it takes. 
and then 1d6. I mean, just look at the three of us. We almost had like 17 hours to live. So, two. All right. Back. All right. You guys all got your hit dice for your short rest? Yep. All right. We only spent one. I am back to full. Okay. Um, we're, we are recovered. <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm not fully nope. recovered, nope. but. Okay. All right. For short rest is over. Yeah. You guys are aware that the amber gas is still a very present thing. Yep. Still got to figure out how to turn that off. It is called leaving this place and never looking back once we find these. Yeah, stupid it stupid. may not be able to be turned off. I mean, everything has a cause, does it not? Yeah, and it could be a cause that you can't change. <laughs> Good point. Well, we and never know till we find it. And we are moving. What on. if we're the cause? Seeing as how uh, the okay, box, so let's not get all you know crazy philosophical. About this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wait, everybody, step back. I am going to, once everybody is out of stairwell, I will step on the same place to make sure it's not the, another uh, trigger. Uh, it seems like you guys, uh, yeah, uh, you step okay. on the same plot, spot, and it's like, oh, okay. Okay, it, he, he's good, he's safe. Yep. Okay. And I will uh, walk down the rest of these stairs. Step on another one. <laughs> another one. <laughs> Shit! No okay. stone too, electric boogaloo. You, you, you make it, you, you manage to make it all the way down. Oh, good. Okay. And you come to the set of double doors. Um, I will investigate for traps, I guess. Okay, make an investigation. Hey, it's not trapped at all. Yeah, but you're <laughs> like, hey, there's nothing here, guys. It looks good to me. And I think that we already hit what whatever was left for it right here, sadly. And I will oh. push open this door locked. If not, I will push open. Okay, you push open the door. Let me, uh... Probably uh -huh. would have triggered a trap it's anyway when the stone hit. What's that? Right. <laughs> All right. I don't presume as, anymore. As soon as the millstone slams into the door, poison darts just start peppering it. <laughs> All right, you get through the door. And as you do... A bitter stench assails the senses you lay, as you lay eyes on the room ahead. Inside, amid a pile of rubbish of awful and bracken, ghostly lights move across the floor. Closer observation re reveals that the light is em emitted by giant beetles. There seem to be around a dozen of these creatures in the room, each about three feet in length. They don't appear to take notice of you. From within the largest pile of trash, where most of the beetles are clustered, come glints of something shiny. We can... Sokran! We can try to maneuver... Yeah? This is your second wet dream in the night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. They only have enough magical power for one fireball. Do, I, do we want to use it here? I don't know, I'm just saying. What I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it. I mean, we should probably, like... Let's first ask ourselves, what are these precisely? They're bugs. Giant the beetles. The beetles. Yeah. Bugs yeah. usually are pretty... You but, know, what normal, fire. but what normal bug glows and looks like a beetle? Are you Solon, an expert in bugs, Solowin? Solowin, what normal anything lives in a ruin or a crypt or a tomb or a shrine? I've Never seen the mummy too many times to let this just be. <laughs> Watch a three-foot beetle just start crawling under your flesh. Wait! <laughs> so, I think at this point, I'm just gonna play her to DM. Do I know what this is? What kind of check? I make a... Uh... Let's see. Yeah, you can make a nature check, yep. Alright. Knowledge 23! 
Yeah, you, you would know uh, that these. You've heard of these? They're they're not uncommon. Uh, they're they're fire beetles. Yeah, there you go, fire beetles. That means so fire does extra damage to them. Aggressive. No, it means they are tuned to fire in some sort of way. They can produce fire. With hmm. would a twenty-five tell me anything ab about the giant fire beetles? No, you know that it's kind of like fireflies. You know, like they just, a, they just glow. They just glow. That's why they get their name. Name is uh, name is misleading. They they uh, look like they have fire inside of them. It's light. Oh, uh, so they're do... like torch bugs. Yes, similar to uh, torch bugs. Uh, DM is. Are they innately hostile? Or... No, they're just kind of wandering around. I mean, they're acting like insects, dude. You said yeah. there was something that we could see in the middle There's of the room? There's a trash pile, and you see some shiny objects within a pile of trash that they're, you know, kind of mulling around in bits. I'm afraid if I do this, that it might destroy whatever's down there. Well, we must think uh, quickly because the uh, gas. Well, if, the, yeah, want... if, they're, if they're not hostile, I'm sure that we could navigate our way through. Do you want to do yeah, your your drone through. again to see if it can pick uh, whatever's in there and see if they attack it? Can I I ask Solwyn and Sayorin what they might feed on? Um. Mostly plants, carrion. Uh, they are scavengers. They are not predators. Uh, well, let's see here. I am assuming they are scavengers, not predators. <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> I'm not an entomologist uh... in real life. So. But I, I mean, you can kind of see that they're just like hovering around their, their nest, which is the pile with the shining objects. Oh. Mm. Yeah. If you're going to touch that nest, you probably ought to do it with like your drone. I wouldn't touch it yourself then I will uh, if you are going to fireball have have this uh, spell uh, ready to go and if they attack us I'm going to send the drone I'm going to make up the drone and I'm going to send drone to the pile and I'm going to, gra to grab the most visible shiny object and I'm going to pull okay and it... take dodge action <laughs> Oh, okay, and then as you do that, all the beetles, they start flocking towards the the nest. And they start coming over. Sorry, the cat just tried to climb up me. Yeah, you see all the beetles, they just kind of start going towards the nest where they, the uh, shiny, where the drone kind of disturbed it. And you're able to pull out when you do so. Um, I'm going to... Roll a d20, just to see what you can pull out. Four. Four. Okay, uh, you, it comes back, and it's like, uh, you find a, like a, bro it brings back a broken crystal out of the nest to you. Huh. Are we going to keep uh, rummaging through this nest, or are we going to take this opportunity to go to one of the doors? Probably one of the doors. Doors, going, now. <laughs> and I'm going to try and keep along the outside edge here okay yeah they they i mean they seem to be aware of your presence but they don't care oh this is good yep i am going to press my luck here uh is this is this a door yep that's a door there and then there's a double door that say orange is stopped in front of i'll wait for them to open it up and see what happens before I go in. Okay. I will, mm -hmm. uh... They, they may be not hostile, but they make me uneasy. I'm going to push this door open and go through now. <laughs> Alright, all right. so when you know there's nothing and you push through, you, it, it opens right up and you in a corridor. And so when you push through. Okay. Okay. It's good. No, oh, it's good. And you see? Yeah, I can see. I will. Uh... I'll my, wait. My my to... hole is clear. There is no. Uh... 
it curves off to the right, but it, it, there is no current danger. I'll wait no to hear danger. word from them. Okay. Before I, before I go. All right, Yuli, you doing anything? Uh, no, I'm just watching the beetles. Uh, maybe just staying far on the side of the wall here. Which way are we gonna go? No, but uh, Sayora said it was clear over there. There's just a way to the right. John, what do you see? Solon, are you uh, good up there? Yeah, I'm not seeing much. Weird ass dynamic light there. Let's uh, let's just pick one. Um, Solwyn, actually what you see when you go up there, you see the porticoluses made of timber bound in copper that came from the ceiling down from floor to ceiling. That's why you're, that's, that's what's blocking your vision. It looks Are familiar. those the things that uh, Sol Solkren got capt captured in? Yeah, it looks very familiar to you, Oh, Solwyn. it might be. Yep. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, it's that. Uh... Hey, we've been through here before. Okay, let's go mm. the other way then. This way looks blocked. Yeah. As I'm going here, before I walk through the door, can I make a investigation or perception to see if I notice anything in the nest? I mean, you can take a yeah. You can make a perception check, but because you're not at the nest, you're gonna yeah. You don't. You're just yeah, I don't see nothing. Spirit. All right, let's go. Ooh, cool. But you notice that they got very defensive about the nest. That was about all you noticed. They otherwise they really didn't care about you. Okay. Yep. Shall we continue? If yeah, we're going. For we're traps, following yes. Sayoran. Then I will march over to the corridor and pick up. Watch the for pressure plates. <laughs> as you go. Too late. I look around the corner. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you see at the end of the corridor, as you peek your head around, you see double doors made of that are made of heavy bronze. Oh, more doors. Ooh. Okay. Um, I will slowly approach. Okay. And uh, I will check this door for traps because this is what my sneaky friends do. So. <laughs> oh right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not trapped. <laughs> It's all right. It, what, you're, this not, hole, you're not this detecting hole any traps. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this magical rune? Ah, it's decorative. This is fine. <laughs> I will uh, see if, I, uh, depending on the weight of door, I will see if Solomon wishes to help me push it open. Okay. Yeah, you can actually. You, you figure out you can push it right open. Triggering the dark trap that yeah. was hidden in plain sight. <laughs> okay. You. Yeah. You push it open. And in the middle of the chamber, you see two stone divans, each with a human fi figure stretched out on it. Between the divans is a low stone table holding a flask and two goblets, all made of crystal. In the bottom of the crystal, crystal flask is a quantity of silvery dust. The figures on the divans are a male and female, each about middle-aged and perfectly preserved. They are, they are very still, dust-covered, and they look very dead. Their bodies are covered with dry snakeskin. The female wears a silver bracelet and holds what looks to be an ivory wand. The male has an amulet of electrum resting on his chest, inset with a red stone of considerable size. <laughs> I have a on, question. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, on the finish. yeah on the western wall, there's colorful glyphs, and that read, "Beware, many-eyed god will bring down a fiery death." Okay, I have. Uh, it's good. Yep. I have a question. Sure. The fuck is a Debon? Debon beds. D -bon. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> I learned a new word today. Uh -huh. All right, um, 
Bum, 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 bum. The more you know. This is uh, this uh, in common about the uh, angry spicy god. Yeah, the uh, many-eyed god will bring down a fiery death. Oh. Please do not touch the dead. Remember what happened last time you guys took something. Unless you see something that looks like the rod, we could probably stand to leave it alone. What of this uh, ivory okay. wand in her hand? Is this what we are looking for? Is that a that is a rod? A tiny. I think it could she's be possible for to identify it without uh, removing it. No. This is what they look like. This is the female. Is look like oh wow. That's crazy. They're like perfectly preserved. Yeah, this has happened like five minutes ago. Like okay. <laughs> oh, right? It's All like, right, dang, dude. there's a. Huh. So is it liquid in that glass? <laughs> What's your Can seat? I take a check? It's, dust, yeah. right? it's a silvery dust. It's a silvery dust. Silvery dust, okay. I yep. think what's more impressive is that the hair is still preserved. Right? It's mm -hmm. like all... It looks like they, she just conditioned it. As soon as you take her magic stick, she's gonna get up and beat your ass. <laughs> she would! Like, she's ready! <laughs> she's well-rested. She probably had a, wrong, long, a really long rest. <laughs> right? She's had, like, so many long rests at this point. <laughs> so, I'm gonna check the door over here for... The usual traps if it's locked. Okay. 14. I'll check. I'll check this one here. Okay. You're I not... will examine bunnies. How are you going to examine them? I'm going to look them over because uh, Yulia said do not touch. Therefore, I will not touch yet. Okay. You're noticing. Yes. Yeah. They they look like they look alive but dead. If that makes any sense. Oh no no it's good. You can do the door thing. I was just stating what my character will be doing. Okay, um, you're not, okay, the investigation check does not reveal any traps on the door. For either, this one looks good. Either one, Solwyn or Yulia. I'm gonna crack the door open and kind of peek through it. Okay, as you do, you'd be able to peek through. And when you do there, you... You see? Uh, <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah. I am going to immediately shut the door. <laughs> turn around. <laughs> no. Nope. Don't go this way. Yeah. Like, when you, when whisper you, shout. When you look there, you see. You you saw that they're like the people that you've seen before along the sides of the corridor that you saw the human figures would appear to be floating above the floor even from that angle <laughs> and you know because you were closer than you were before you were about 10 feet away you you actually seen that these figures seemingly suspended in the air they're actually withered corpses standing upright on a ledge two feet above the floor so they are not gravitating Okay. I still oh, recognize that they're zombies. Yeah, you definitely. You've, you've encountered zombies, and you're like, these are zombies. All right, Yulia, your door is, is safe. It's like, uh, nope, not going that way. Yeah, nope. I will also just kind of peek through it to see what's on the other side. Okay. Yeah, I will. Oop. Okay, you do, and you it's a long, empty hall, yep. right? Yep, you see a long corridor. Yeah, I just couldn't relay that information, and that, that there's a turn, and, and I didn't go and investigate further. Okay. Is there anything on this desk, or whatever this is? No, that... It... That is actually, that little table is where actually where you're seeing the silvery, you know, th that, that table is lying in between the two divans, and you're seeing that this silvery powder in a flask on the table. 
about this table or, or about these? Yeah, you're not seeing anything on those. Nothing those on empty. that? Yep. Okay. Hmm. What did you uh, decipher, Stayorin? What? Uh, both of these bodies are, are remarkably well preserved. They look as though they were, if not for the cobwebs, I would assume they were sleeping. But, uh... Could it be possible they're actually still alive? Possibly? Uh... Brian, can I make a medicine check to try and check for a, a pulse or something? Or uh, okay. any kind of temperature, like, put back... I want to, like, put the back of my hand against their head and like try and find a pulse uh-oh uh, okay as soon as you do as soon as you do so they animate I told you not to touch them I did not touch the rod I just I do check for a pulse but look they're waking up now it's good <laughs> they, they, they do wake up and Hello? and the male I am Aximoho. You have broken our glorious sleep. For this, you must atone. Oh, great. Did not my fault you are a late we sleeper? Were, we were just checking if you were alive. Sorry. You must atone for disturbing our sleep. And they get into a fighting stance. And very... You guys have seen from, you know... You haven't traveled with any, but you would know that they looked, they appear to be monks. That they get into a martial arts fighting stance. Great. I will, uh. Is this the only way? Is, are you asking? Yes. Uh, how will you atone for disturbing us? How do I put you back to sleep? Ah, uh, you could you can atone by paying us. I am we'll thinking I, will, I I am thinking I will take the fighting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not paying you because you cannot take a nap. All right. So you're like, nope. I'm not paying not you. Not my fault. <laughs> All right. And with that, we will go to the initiative then. It wasn't even a warning, like, don't wake them. It's just like, wasn't it don't steal stuff? I don't know anymore. Okay. Jeez. I mean, we weren't trying to steal things. We were just trying to check if they were alive. I mean, <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't see anything wrong about that. All right, everybody in. <sighs> And so, yeah, they, they come to life. Uh, all right, and we will go into Boxy. You see them. They come up. They get it. They're in fighting stance, and they're ready to go. Just like, oh, man, somebody woke up on the wrong side of the bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, dink. <laughs> I recklessly attacked the male. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's the one right next to you, Oxymoron. Yep, that will miss. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna recklessly attack. Sorry, I didn't press the thingy. Twenty-one. Okay, okay twenty-one will hit. Yep. Okay, cool. Okay. So eight bludgeoning, and then here's my second attack. Also reckless, cause might as well. 20. Yeah, twenty-four. Yep, that will hit. Um, four... Nine. Uh, nine, yeah. Alright, so... Okay, you come in. Alright. Go back to sleep! Go back to sleep! Yeah, negotiations failed. <laughs> Hit him in the face with the hammer. Take a nap! Take a nap! Yeah. <laughs> negotiations a nap. were short. <laughs> Alright. And that brings up Aksumoko. He is going to attack you, Boxy. And first attack. 
I should have tried to see if I recognized any of their items as magic ones. Arm drag 14, I believe that myth misses. Oh. And second attack. I believe that misses. Then Miss. bonus action. I believe that one will hit. So, yeah. All right. Um, okay. Let's see. I'm going to... Uh, all right. Make a con save. Okay. Uh, stunning strike, I see. <laughs> okay. Yep. Uh, 23. Nice. All right. Okay. No, you go to sleep. <laughs> it tried to put you to sleep. All right, Yulia. All right. I'll run forwards to the second person and drawing my weapons. Okay. And I will go ahead and try and get an opening with the rapier. Fifteen. Fifteen. That uh, that will not. Yeah, that misses. Uh, and again. Actually, nope. Nope. That will miss. And then you know, twirl I just around and try to stash. Actually, I think Boxy was supposed to take damage on the first attack. Uh, is your armor class nineteen? Or at least... Oh, it's 17. Yeah, so you actually would have taken damage oh, on that first, first strike were... because you was were giving them... Oh, that advantage, yeah. Yeah, reckless. Yeah, yeah. All right, so... The, okay, the All 18 right. hits do your damage. Eight. Eight, okay. Oh. Right. And that's it. Okay. Whoops. Ah, uh, not that much damage. Okay, you did eight. All right. Okay. Okay. Sayorin. All right. I will uh, manifest echo behind this one. Okay. And I will. Um. Uh, we're just going to go. Oh, which one is this one again? One. Left one's female, so right one's male. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. I was checking turn order. Um, let us. I will simply just punch this one with uh, the booming blade. Okay. Because Go ahead. Not? Go ahead and roll it. Hit. Uh. Oh, actually. No. I will give Yulia. I will use support. To give Yulia advantage on next attack. Okay. All right. So and no. That is it. Okay. Sokron. Okay, I am going to do Toll the Dead. Okay, which one? On Oxamoko. Okay, go ahead. 17. Okay, so he needs to make a... DC 14 wisdom save. Okay. This is going to be a pass. Yep. <laughs> and then I just scoot on here. Okay. All right. All right. Yulia, this um see let me have they got the uh, her name is I'll, I'll read it here in a second. So, Sipak Tonal. Sipak Tonal. Yes, she's going to attack you, Yulia. And 17? A hit. Okay, for 5. And. Okay, make a. Uh, she's going to see. Make a deck saving throw? No. 20. Yeah. Oh, that's right. It's on the. Boom. Before, wait, wait, before uh, she makes additional attacks, I would like to use my sentinel attack. Okay, go ahead. And the punch! Right. 26. Ah. That hits? With 11 thunder damage, and now she has disadvantage if she strikes Yulia again. Okay. Which would make Yay. attack number two miss. Because I, I, I tried to get to you before you rolled. Okay, that's hits. fine. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, and then her other section. 
Uh, 14 will miss, I believe. Yep. So win. All right, we're gonna back up a little bit. 10 feet. And do I even need to say it at this point? Okay. You're, I guess you're attacking uh, the female, right? Yep. Female. Okay. 15 to hit. That will miss. All right. Second blast. <laughs> that will hit. <laughs> Damn right it will. <laughs> For a total of a nice 13 lightning, we're going to do the once per turn. That's an additional four. Okay. Okay. And now we're gonna have sparks. Uh, five, ten, fifteen. We're gonna give advantage to Boxy with help action. Oh, all right. Advantage to Boxy. Ooh. Okay. And it is going to be Boxy's turn. You, you have an advantage. All right. So. So I got an advantage, and if I attack recklessly, will I get, like, extra advantage? Uh, nope, you Does can't double up on or advantage. Or it's just normal? Yeah, it's just okay. normal advantage. Alright. Basically... Okay, so at least I won't have... Yeah, you won't have disadvantage won't have on, on the... Or, yeah. Yeah. Alright, ready? Here we go. Okay, roll. Trying to hit Oxymoco again. Okay. Alright. Nineteen. That, that will. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Both. Both definitely hit. Oh wait, twenty-four. Yep. Sorry. Yeah. Do yep. damage. Okay. Noise. Right, eight. eight. Okay. Eight. Next. Then second attack. Sixteen. Sixteen will just hit. Yeah. Ooh. He tried to duck eight. out of the way, and you managed to clip him. For another Ooh. six. For another six. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Anything else? Bonus action? That's it. Okay. And he's going to keep t attacking you there, uh, Boxy. And it's fine. Lay it on me. All right. All right. I believe that will hit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Make a strength saving throw. Okay. Easy. Yeah. Oh. Or not. That? <laughs> uh, you drop your maul. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, man. And then the third. Oh. God oh. damn. Oh. Well, his crit damage is only one, so that's good. Yeah, so you take another eight, and go ahead. <laughs> Ow! And now make a, uh, make a deck save. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, oh, great, here we go. I'm not good at these. Oh! Yeah. Uh, that's a fail. <laughs> it fails. So you, you are, are prone. <laughs> so now you're prone, and you dropped your weapon. Oxymoco came in with his <laughs> arm strikes, and was like, <laughs> What the fuck is this? <laughs> Help! Alright. <laughs> Yulia. Yulia, remember... Toro's uh, on the back. You have advantage on your... It's just like... <laughs> your first attack. Okay. Um. Yeah, so for the first attack, I'm going to, you know, attack with the rapier. Okay. Uh, 15 hit. No, that just misses. She, okay. She, she, so, you, you nicked her garments but not her not uh, second attack even worse yep that will miss as well and i'll try to bonus action offhand 24 that will hit of course now the scimitar hits. lands yeah yeah i'm going to do eight slashing damage okay and that's it all right say your end it's your turn all right i will Use. Give me one moment, Gabriel. I will. See, now my son threw off my train of thought. Ah! You thought about head. Um. 
uh, support action on Yulia again. Okay. And then I'm going to swap with my Echo. Oh, oh, wait, I don't have to do that, because I can do this. There we go. All righty. Okay. Is that it? In the uh, bonus action, I... Oh, I swapped this bonus action. So, uh, no, it's good. All right. So, Kron. All right. Um, do I get disadvantage because I'm within melee range, or like if say it's if a was... range attack? Yes. Yep. So what? What if I was doing a range attack on the female? You would, would I still, still be... have disadvantage because an enemy is within five feet of you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then I'm gonna be like, screw it. I'm a, I'm a two hand my staff <laughs> and try to hit him. To oh staff, you're gonna try to attack with the staff. Yeah. Okay. Um, go ahead and swing it with uh, as a normal staff. Uh, Wait. I think you're clicking the wrong thing. Yeah. I'm hit. I'm hitting the uh, the plus two, right? Under the actions. Under actions, yeah. That's what I'm hitting. Like if I was gonna do a dagger attack, I'm just hitting the plus two on the staff. Yes, yeah, so uh, it's if it's under uh, the hit DC column, then that's what it, that was, that is what you should be doing. But if that's what's popping up, that's very weird. Yeah, yeah that's that's what's popping up. Uh, yeah. I, I just roll just, a, honestly, a, I just a roll a d20 and add your whatever the fuck. Yeah. Okay, I'd say so, roll a strength check and add. Uh, there's no plus. I, I miss. <laughs> yeah, that's a miss. Yeah, oh. you miss. <laughs> oh, <laughs> jeez. Oh, well, that's your action. <laughs> There you go. That's it. All right. And the female, she's going to attack Yulia again. And come in. The miss. 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 And her third uh, will hit. Oof. For 10. Oof. Yeah, these uh, these monks are no joke when they hit it. These are unarmed strikes, too. All right, make a uh, con save. Yeah. Here. Just monks doing monkey things. Okay, you're like... <laughs> <laughs> You're monkey stuff. things. Monk no, monkey things. Off. <laughs> All right, so in. All right, uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. We're aiming at Sipa first. Okay. Go ahead. Roll the hit. That is twenty-five to hit. That will hit. That is total of 10 damage oh okay and the once per turn mm -hmm. yep let's throw in the once per turn now that is an extra six points of lightning okay as you do you, you notice boom it was just enough that you rolled max damage and actually took her out nice you didn't like her messing with Yulia punching the ship alright alright Second attack, we're going for the other one now. Okay. Roll to hit. With a 14, that's a miss, right? Yeah, that is a miss. So, we're going to have Sparks circle around. And let's give the help action towards eh, Boxy again. Okay. All right. And that'll be it. All right. Boxy, it is your turn. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, I get up because I'm prone. Yep. Pick up my damn weapon. I'm like, I said, go to sleep. All right. <laughs> I'm just trying to hit him again. Okay. With advantage. Yep. Get advantage. Yes, with advantage. I do. Do we get any reaction from Oxymoko when 18. if he sees her go down? No, the, well, it's in the middle of combat. Yeah. He's not. Yeah, you gotta remember this is all like simultaneous. You kind of. All right, 18 does hit. For 12. Okay, for right. 12. And my second attack. Please. That's ah. a miss. That's a miss. Uh, a miss. <laughs> Go ahead and fuck this Yeah. Alright. Yeah, he's not happy. He's like, his turn. 
Yeah, he, he's a little pissed off. You guys woke him up, so he's like coming back. And let's see, let's see how mad he is. It's, how mad are you? Uh, not very. And before not he makes a enough. second, I'm mad I enough. Am Sentinel once again. Okay, go ahead. Hi. I tried That's Sentinel. Sentinel. <laughs> Sentinel that misses. Uh, Seventeen boxes. I hit. Seventeen, yeah, seventeen hits. Okay, you ah. take, you take, you take eight and make a con save. Oh, god damn it! Don't worry, that's one of your good no. stats. Oh! oh <laughs> Would you stop saying I'm that? Go. I'm getting my ass kicked. And now you are stunned until the end of its next turn, and then it, t it takes that, one, good. and it hits you a third time for another five. All right. Oh. God, stop talking about boxing yourself. Oh, it's an easy DC. Fails <laughs> twice. All right, Yulia, uh, uh, it is your turn. The other one's dead. I'm all getting my ass beat. <laughs> all right, I'm going to jump up onto the Devon and then leap over and, like, sidekick okay. this guy, basically. All right. And with my apier, rapier, at the same time, I'm going to try and shove him. Okay. So I think that's athletics, right? Yep. yep. And I get advantage, you which is good. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, he, no, the, 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 you don't get to, the, the advantage doesn't carry over. It would have been specifically that target. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. okay. Yep. Gotcha. Sorry. Yeah. It, it, it didn't matter anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> All right. I... I will, uh, I'll just try and do it again. Do I can do it. that, right? That's your yeah. action. It, yeah. Uh, Her attack? Well, it, or... No, that's no, a skill it, check, it, which it, is your action if your attack no, no. is... The, the shove action is a special melee attack that can be used in place of the attack. Action. Okay, so... oh, that makes sense, yeah. All right. Yeah, so I can do it again, right? Yep, go ahead. Yep. All right. Welcome 11. In All right. <laughs> Moment of truth. This guy sucks. Nope, he's pretty stout. Poke him harder in the kneecap. <laughs> and then I'll just, uh, I'll bonus action attack with the offhand. Okay. Just trying to get him off balance. 16. 16 will just hit. He okay. tried to duck out of the way. 10 slashing. Oh, not looking very good, though. Doing so well with the scimitar, but the rapier ain't hidden. Well... It's supposed to be a rapier too, uh, but you said I could, or a scimitar too, but I could use the rapier stats. We'll see. All right, say you on. It is your turn. I will. Uh... I will ask him if. Uh... Now, are you happy now? Is atonement satisfied? Uh, he, he looks. He's still in his fighting stance. Very well. Let it be finished. And booming blade. Okay. Roll the hip. Maybe not. And I... <laughs> I tried. Swap places with that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Uh, no, it's bonus in action, so it's uh, finished. Okay. Socron. All right. This time, like... Like this staff, I'm going to take out my dagger. Sure, that will miss. <laughs> okay. Just, just for the record, Sokrin, you are much more effective if you take one turn to disengage. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. You could even be ballsy and not disengage and still go for the This is attack. way better. Just like me trying to shut. It's way better. This is good. This is good. This, right. this quality and, stuff right here. All right, so win. It is your turn. Yep, we're getting up close. We're blasting. Okay. Roll the hit. That's a miss. Yep, that is a definitely a miss. And that's a hit. That is a hit. Do you damage? At seven points plus. Oh, that's enough. Boom. All right. Plus well, we're bonus. doing it anyway. Just see. Okay. <laughs> and Boxy, because you don't have to wait till the end of its next turn, now you're no longer stunned. <laughs> I, I still emotionally I'm still stunned. 
like, that guy kicked me in the ass. <laughs> yeah, okay. Kicked me right in the cloaca. And with that, <laughs> right? you guys have defeated the monks, and we'll go through what you guys find. After we take oh. a quick break here, we're going to... Yes. We're going to take a break, and we're going to be back in about 10 minutes after we do our ball break, get something to drink, eat, whatever you need to do. Sweet. All Thanks. right. Uh, so, everybody, uh, stay tuned. We will be back. Bye. <laughs>
back, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome. Our group has just managed to, def to defeat the awakened monks. We're not too happy about their disturbed rest. And... So we gave them a nap. Yeah, you put them to sleep permanently. <laughs> the, the, the fan, or the, the wand... That you that that the uh, female was holding, it's actually a folded fan. That was not a wand okay. or a rod. She's wearing a platinum bracelet, and then you have the amulet oh. made of electrum and garnet. Hmm. Oh. No particular shape on the necklace? No, nothing special. No. Alright, so... That's less likely to be magic. Could I Not make possible. some type of history check to see if maybe these are important people or something? I mean, you can try, yeah. 19? That, um, I mean, in your studies, you're like, I, these are not people I've ever heard of. Just did. All right. And then in the, and then on the table, you guys looking around, you guys do see the silvery pow powder in, a, in the flask. Flask pretty full, half full. I mean, it's a silvery powder that's at the bottom of the flask. Joe, 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 Joe. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe it'll put us to sleep like these two, and we'll wake up all angry. <laughs> 300 years later. <laughs> I guess. Maybe I'll try a medicine check to see if I recognize it. Um, can I assist him in this endeavor? Sure. Hey, look, I helped. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Fifteen. Um, Yay! You would know that if you, by looking at it, you're like, hey, if I mix some kind of liquid with this, it will make a type of potion. Okay. Hey, we could probably use this. Maybe somebody wanna Maybe could... take it. We can just take the flask and definitely the potion maker. Hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> wink, wink. Right, wink, will... wink. I will take it, I suppose. <laughs> Maybe you it, can make something good it, out of it. Is there a specific name for this thing I'm adding, or just flask of silver powder? Just flask of silver powder. That's all you know about it. Right now, <laughs> um, I'll put a little disclaimer there for medicinal use only, <laughs> <laughs> or until you figure out what it can be used for. What it is, yeah. I take the fan from the female and inspect it. Okay. Uh, in the you take a look. Yeah, I mean, I'll tell you. It's just a, okay. It's a. Uh, it's a very ornate fan, uh, the kind that you'd see, like, uh, somebody that fans themselves in the heat, you know, but it's an ornate fan, the old, old-fashioned, uh, folding fan. It's a fancy fan. Yeah. Mmm. Quite fancy. That's fancy cool. fan, yep. <laughs> but anybody... I didn't set up the joke. Would anybody care for this fan? I'll take the fan if no one wants it. It's pretty. There you go, Unless Boxy. somebody else wants it. I'm actually more interested in checking out this one that this chick had to see if it's, uh... It was the, it was it was the fan. It's the fan. Oh, it was the fan? Yep, yeah. it was the fan. It looked like a wand. Oh, yeah. I missed that part. Lies. Do you want it? No. I the wand <laughs> fan? Okay. I shove it in my shell. <laughs> um... To wet your discretion, I would like to, like, 
if you're fine with it, Arcana check, see like if I recognize any of these as magic items, just like on sure. my own expectation. Right. You could look. Yeah. Do you I'll want you. one roll per item or just, just in one singular roll? Just in general. You can do that. All right. And I'll so Karen's saying he's helping me. All right. Okay. Yeah. So this will be at advantage. First roll. A 22. Second roll for posterity. A 23. Okay. Uh, yeah. You're not detecting any kind of magic. No special nothing special about them you know you can tell you can probably get some good sell them get some coin in okay hmm. and one of these days we'll have to show you how to roll in uh roll in D D beyond for uh, two dice hmm. you can change it to roll with advantage disadvantage yeah i like right click and here's what happens when i click advantage it like rolls both dice, but it comes out with only the one check. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I rolled twice. Have you tried like the? Well, yeah. Being, Wait. It's that's still rolling with advantage, because what what it's telling you is roll that's two the D twenty, keep result. highest one. Okay. Mm. You know, let's. It let's sure do a is. Second, just to be sure. Yep. That's what. That... I don't, I don't oh yeah, because sure. you rolled the one. Yeah. Because sure, sure. that's how okay. mine shows up. <laughs> yeah, but you get like the both boxes. I just got the one. It's like what? Yeah, that's different. Yeah, it is saying that, that's what they K H keep the highest one. Yep, stands for in your roll. Okay, okay. Yeah. But cool. Technically, you are rolling too. Okay, okay, so that'll make it a lot cleaner going here on out. Yep. Okay. So yep, you detect no nothing special about these items. No, they're just. Good for money, I guess. It's pretty. Yep. Uh, nothing else that we missed? Um, no. Okay, then we grabbed what we came for to keep going. Uh, warning okay, you now, uh, there are zombies galore so in... in the door on our right. Yes. Okay, so... It might okay. be the same... Let's go on this one. Of hoard. Um, what are we given to Sayoran to put in the chest of the items? I say just about everything except for the fan. Okay. Okay, but see, I wasn't paying attention, so you have to <laughs> type in. It was a platinum. Wait, no. Electrum with an ornate garnet. Uh, yeah. And then a something. Yeah, Electrum. Electrum. Necklace. Write it down. Necklace. With... Oh. Got it. Yeah. And then you have a, a platinum bracelet. Yeah. Yep. Platinum. Dang. Yep. Shit, I got oodles, canoodles, and toaster strolls of platinum in my shit right now. All right. Uh -huh. Okay, there you go. All right, here we Okay, so, uh, Solomon says there's zombies, the door to our right, so shall we go left? Might as well. Boxy I think that's a good idea. Way. Lead the way, Boxy. Alright. Look for <laughs> pressure points, plates. Yep, if you want to do that, you get, you can... You can make one investigation every 30 feet. <laughs> Chest is starting to get heavy. <laughs> Alright, so I got a 9 on my investigation. Alright, looks All right. good so far, y'all. Yep, looks so good so good. far. Good. Okay, just let me know when I investigate again how how often every 30 investigate? feet every 30 feet because that's your movement. oh 30 feet okay. yeah because that's your movement yep okay all right well, i'm gonna investigate again i'll help her out okay. with it okay okay 14 over here see anything oh you're you're mosing along <laughs> yep so every 30 feet if you okay. 
if you roll investigation, I will tell you that, you know, just roll it every 30 feet. And I'll tell you before okay. I, set okay. a I, and if you roll well every 30 feet and then there's a trap, I'll let you know kind of thing. Yep. Okay. okay. Sweet. Okay. Hey. Hey. Yeah, I'll make my own rolls too. I like it helped. Okay. Great. All right. Can to help me with Okay. Are you helping me with this next one? Actually, I think we see the block from before. So oh. I think we might be good. Oh, yeah. A, a large block yeah. of stone obstructs the corridor ahead. It doesn't appear. It it's looks the like same those, block. Yep, it looks like that one that's out of place that you've seen before. So I can pick oh, it up. We can't move this. You good? Is it clear? Yeah, you're good. Hey, God. the block is here from before. They say it's the block. The one that rolled off. I relay the message. It's a big block that rolled off after we pulled it all or pushed it all together. Do you think we say. can push it? Pull that. Should be able to. Do you all want to try to attempt to push this block? I do not think we can. There is no nowhere to grip. Is yeah, there anywhere to like grip? Flush. Is it flushed? Where are you gonna try can, to push? Can it? I check? Like, is, uh, like, can I see if there's like a little? Is there's a way for me to like, like, get something in between the wall and the block yeah. thing? So we could like push it. Which way, you, a, which way, way do you, grip it? Which way do you want to push it? That's the question. Like, like let's, sideways. Let's push it in this direction, and I do have a crowbar. Uh, okay. Um, the only issue there, you would know that it took all four of you pushing on it from one side to move it up the rollers. Yeah. We don't need to push it all the way up, just a decent amount. Like, get maybe Sayorin and Boxy to like at least five feet to the left. No, that way we can pass. No, it I took think, all four of us. I think we try. It. Yeah, I think we try just doing it just us two, but we couldn't move it. Yep. Ex like without the rest of y'all. Hmm. So if we were to try to just move it a little bit, we wouldn't even. Me and him wouldn't be able to do it. I mean, both of you managed like at would least have to be on that small side. amount. Yeah. Uh, but not well, enough to, like, squeeze somebody through, unless... Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. We, we, yeah. we did manage to a small amount, but when, when you're talking about a small amount, we're referring to, like, inches. Is how it was, like, doing. inches. Yeah. You, <laughs> I can get through, and anybody who can misty step can get through, but there's still not enough of us to push this yeah. back up. Yeah. I mean, we're not, like, looking to push it all the way up, just, like, I know. my feet. Well, well, we understand we're what, saying you're, just can't. what you're wanting. Well, what we're saying is that it took all four of us just to move it. And you got to remember, to move it. Yeah. you guys would know that pushing it that way, it's going to be on rollers that are angled, you know, at a slope. <laughs> Yeah. We may have to go through the uh, other door. The zombie horde? Yeah. Whoa, Do we thing. risk stealthing through? Or should I just... Say or it's already walked off. <laughs> <laughs> well, zombies it is. Okay. Let's lock and load. All right. I think we should let Sokran finally have his moment. Oh, yes. Look at that. It's, um, it's another wet dream. <laughs> All the wet dreams today. Wait, the other... Why are they on, why are they on shelves? They're, they're standing on, like, the shelves. A little elevated platform. They yeah, they're on the pedestals. sides of, like, the walls. So we could walk through, 
if somehow we, they don't see us, or I don't know. Uh, Brian, are these responsive or are they just like statue still? Um, I mean, Solwyn, he, he did look get a good look and knows they are zombies. Oh, okay, so they're not just yeah. hanging corpses. Okay, well, very well. I will stand off to the side if the wizard wishes to do his thing. So, Brian? So, I stealthed hey, to 25 okay. to sneakily open the door. Okay. And I cast Fireball. Okay, where are you putting it? I am putting it right in this corner. Oh. Okay. Should be able to hit everybody. Yeah, yep, that will. Okay. Go ahead and cast it. Uh, maybe take like two squares back, you two. Um, where is it? So it does 25 points of damage? Yes. Okay. And it's a DC uh, ability, dexterity, submit. Uh, yeah, so as soon as I do it, I don't know if there's going to be enough time, but I I try to close the door. Alright, you launch the fireball. And then move away if it's possible, if there's enough time. Okay, boom. So. There you go. You cast the fireball. Nice. To this hall. <laughs> After it's all done, I peek. Are they unresponsive still? Or are they oh no, they're they, now? They, now they they got some movement, but you just just whacked them pretty good. <laughs> you can see the blood just. <laughs> can you see it on this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are they are they dead <laughs> again? Um, not all of them, but the majority of them look dead. They look pretty crispy, guys. Did you get them all? I no. got a few. I don't know. If they they will okay. move to the side. They will take position at door. Feel free. All right. Just give me a second here. Let me let me delete the dead ones. <laughs> Just so there's more. So it's not as messy in the hallway. But just know. Well, that that can't be avoided. Yeah. There's gonna it's gonna be messy oh, in yeah. there. Just know. <laughs> just just know theater of the mind, there's a big mess of flesh in the hallway. <laughs> a burning flesh. It's like that it's like that it's like that two face meme with me. Yeah. Clisty. Yeah, they yeah, they yeah, he took out a good portion of them there. There was fifteen and it's down to six. Wow. Much more manageable. And so strong. Yeah, so flex my tiny noodle arms. So yeah. with that we will go into initiative. Ooh. All right. This is the greatest plan. Oh god, I have not rolled above a ten on initiative today. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. I like that. I like that. Group in, see how that group initiative worked, uh, Carol? That group roll. Yeah. That was yeah, great. That was, that was fantastic. Nice. High up in a fifteen. Unfortunately, when I start um, Foundry, when I start Savage Sundays, I'm using Foundry. So. Oh, they don't have that group roll. They <laughs> have a capability to do something yeah. like that. I mm. just gotta find the proper modules and install them. Yeah, that's what I had to do too. Okay. So, so, all right. So, boom, boom. Everybody in? Let's see. Let's Let's be in. started. Yeah. Okay. Sokron, you're up first. All right. I open the door back up, and the first zombie I see, closest one, Tola dead. Okay. You do. You do so. Go ahead. So, nine. Okay. Why is it? All right. And whew. he's check his toe of the dead here. Uh, oops, cancel. Saving throw wisdom, right? 
These things aren't very wise, so it should fail, I would assume. The wisest. And it, yeah, it's the wisest. <laughs> the wisest zombie <laughs> yeah, in the world. <laughs> uh, and I just like, it's well. Like, uh, it's like the zombies. These zombies are too smart. I'm scared. Oh. I was a monk that was not exactly lucky enough with preservation. <laughs> All right, here I go. Five, ten. Sparks is supposed to be with me. I should have done that. Uh, fifteen, twenty. We're aiming this one and pewpity pew. Okay. You guys should be able to see numbers on these tokens. Too. That is 16. That will hit. Yeah. Yeah, I numbered these so it's easier to say. So you don't I can see it. Solid 10 lightning. Okay. And that that is enough to actually take that zombie down. Okay. All right. Then we're aiming at zombie three as it's labeled for okay. our second attack. Okay. With a nice 25 to hit. That will definitely hit. That is another eight points lightning. Okay, and yeah. he's still up. So we're doing the once per turn for an extra five. Okay. 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 All right, and that will also. Okay. I'm reading here. Yeah, okay. On this one, say, yeah, got to do this on the other one too. Let's do these uh, saving throw here. Because they're con saving throw. I just wanted to make sure. Right, because the whole the undead, undead or something. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, oh, before the timer runs out, I'm gonna move, like, okay. there. Well, yeah. timer ran out anyway, but... Yeah, dude, that's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna put sparks here, give the help oh, action he, on... He, he died anyways, okay. Yeah. Okay. And on Zombie 4, I'm aiming the help action... Uh, let's give it to... Sayorin. Okay. On which zombie? Uh, zombie four. Zombie four. Five. Ten. Uh, he's gonna come fifteen. He's gonna come up twenty. And he's gonna get an attack at you, uh, Solon. All right, bring it on. And he's. I believe that will hit. Twenty. Yeah, just barely. For four points of damage. All right. Not shabby, not too shabby at all. All right, Boxy. Okay, well, I'm in a rage. Okay, go ahead. Let's start the party. Well, sir. Okay, shadowy tendrils lash around you. Each creature of your choice that you see within 30 feet of you must succeed a con save or take 1d12 necrotic damage. And you also gain 1d12 temp hit points. So, within 30 feet of me. That can be seen. That can be seen. Wait, oh yeah. That I can see. Can I see? Okay. That's Is a this pretty after hard judge. Or yeah, can I see from here? Nope, you're in the room still. Yeah. Right? So, like, I'm just still in the around. room. Okay. Yep. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, all right. Oh well, I'm still gonna go over there and k kill him uh -huh. or hit him. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go up to this dude and I'm gonna recklessly attack. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Fourteen. Or, or yeah, fourteen. That will, that will hit. Okay. Do damage. Eight. Full eight. I'm gonna do eight damage on this one, and I'm gonna do a second attack. Yeah, he's still. Uh, okay. 
On the same one. Okay. Uh, 14 again. That will hit. Okay. Three damage. He's gone. Yeah, what's he got to make, like, on his con save? Like, <laughs> something crazy. Okay. All right. He's con save, unless he rolls a point eight. He's gone. Okay. Anything else? That's it. Is he gone? The one in front of me, or yep. the one to? Yeah, he rolled an eight. Yep. One? Yep. He's gone. Okay. Cool. Oops. All right. Do Yulia, it is your turn. All right. I will uh, go ahead and go into the room. So I've got five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Uh, 30, I'll, I'll kick the rest of this guy's corpse over Okay. and, and attack uh, this lunge at this one with a rapier attack. Okay. So a nine probably misses. That will actually hit. All right. Way to go. 10 piercing damage. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Let's see. He's going to get a saving throw. For a con to see if he if he actually does go down. Okay. And Checking because I've that. taken the attack action, I get ten more feet of movement, so well, I'll go. He, he actually is at, at one hit point. He's still up. Yeah, I'll still go five, ten, and I'll smack him again from behind. Okay. For ten. That will that will hit. Oh, well, you from ten more points of damage. Yep. Okay. So, uh, see if he rolls lucky again. All right. Actually, let's see. Oops. Yeah. DC five plus the damage taken. Yep. So he makes yep. it. Yep. <laughs> Just. <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> And I'll I'll try to cut his legs out from under him. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> and another ten. Okay, let's see if he does it again. With no legs. <laughs> yeah, he's like, ah, it's incredible oh, fortitude here. Man. Oh, there, there he go. finally there goes down. And he's gone. There no legs kind of makes a difference. Yeah, that made the difference. That, just... <laughs> that would have been funny if he passed. I was like, "Tis but a flesh wound." Right. I know, right? And a Tis but a scratch. A scratch. Okay. I'll bite your legs off. All right. So that zombie. Uh, say, say, Orin, it is your turn. Oh, is it? Is it? All right. Well, they seem to have. Been well, well, I think so. Hand. No, wait. This Should be Zombie Thirteen's turn. Yeah, I was like, yeah, he's. <laughs> Zombie 13. <laughs> I mean, what else you want me to call it? Dave? Three. Okay. And he's going to attack you, Yulia. I don't know why this one is not didn't X out, so I'm deleting him. Um, but Zombie 13. Okay. He's going to try to slam you. And that will miss. Yes. Okay. Now it's Sayorin's turn. Go ahead. I will leave Echo at door. They appear to have this well in hand. And I am actually going to come over here to Oxamoco and uh, see whatever the fuck her name is. I am going to uh, lay them back down to rest and cover them appropriately. Okay. Oh, they, they were honor honorable opponents, so I see no reason to desecrate them further. Yeah, they were just mad that you disturbed their sleep. Yeah, said so now they get to sleep forever. So. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that's your turn. That means uh -huh. Zombie 7. It's your turn. Gonna attack Yulia. Right there. Zombie 2 is underneath Boxy dead. Yeah. And 18. Uh, that actually hits. Uh, okay, so. for 4. Okay. Yeah, Zombie 2 is dead. Uh, okay. So, so uh, I think right. you accidentally got rid of Boxy. You did, huh? No, well, I'm here. Oh, no, okay. So, Karn, it's your turn. Oh. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and I shall... 
Let's see how smart they are. Toll the dead. Which one? Seven um, or thirteen? Thirteen. Okay. Let's see. Ding dong, ding bong. Let's see if he if he survive if he passes this one, then he gets to do his. He fails. So let's see. Nineteen necrotic. necrotic. That's a big save. Well, actually, unless the damage. Yeah, <laughs> unless it's radiant. Yeah, he's got to make it like that. Let's see. He's got a roll twenty. Twenty. Yep. Yeah, he's and he's gone. <laughs> Okay. One left. Finisher. Soul win. Yep. Five feet. Right in sight. Okay. And zippity zap. All right. Go ahead. Roll to hit. Fifteen. That will hit. That is seven lightning. Okay. And the once per turn. Okay. Is another two. Nice too. Okay. Still alive? Still alive. Alright, second blast. Alright. Uh, ten. The ten will hit. Alright. I'm assuming... Well, I gotta roll anyway so you know what DC, so... Eight lightning. Okay. Now yeah. for undead fortitude. Yep, so I need to... Thirteen... All right, and it fails. Okay, so that's it. We are done and Yay. dusted. Okay, we're boxy. I don't see. Wow, it. he's another zombie. I'm okay. right here. Okay. Hi. All, all right. These, all right. So we are out of combat. You guys uh, make quick work of the zombies, and as you're going down there, Yulia, I'll just, I'm going to show you guys what you see after you cleared the zombie hall. I don't want to see it. I think we've it. been here already. <laughs> uh, this is us. Uh, you guys didn't come down this far because you guys saw the zombies. No. Oh, oh you're right. talking about this it? little corner. Mm-hmm. What do we see? All right. Do you see that? Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Is that at the, a great... At, uh, uh, it's what appears to be the head of an eagle with the beak open. <laughs> Something shines from within the eagle's mouth. Yeah, it does. Shiny. How okay. big is it? Um, well, you're seeing it looks like the, about the size of a bracelet. <laughs> like a bracelet size? Yep. Mm. Interesting. Basically, on the we... picture, it almost seems like the eagle is all the way over here, actually. Because like you it, can see in the picture, the dead end. Is yeah. this no, the it's eagle? this one right here. Yep. Okay. I uh, s step through the massive bodies of zombies. Okay. Um, what do you guys want to do? I mean. Do we have something to replace it in case it um, closes and something happens? I was looking. Uh, this is only the size of a bracelet. Uh, Didn't we somebody have another bracelet? There's a there's a platinum neck or a, I, don't, I don't know isn't if you there want a to give platinum, a platinum bracelet. Yeah, there is, but well, maybe platinum tends to be a bit more worthy than gold, doesn't it? If and this is made of gold, it's well, no, so hold on. So if this is made of gold, it's probably, it's a softer metal. So it must not be like holding the statue like open, right? Hmm, true. So I'm going to go ahead and like rummage through my satchel that I have and pull out a scroll case that I have that's empty. Okay. And I'm gonna try an Indiana Jones it and like prop it open in case it like decides it wants to shut. <laughs> uh, as I see her scrimmaging through, I'm like, oh, I'm backing up. I'm I'm going. Okay, you do I'm not so doing so. it yet. Like I'm gonna say, <laughs> this is what I want to do. I want to try and do that. Well, be careful. I, 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 I be careful over there I, though. I peek around the corner. All right, go ahead. 
Okay. You got it in there, but in, within the B kind of section. Yeah. Okay. Yep. You are, you managed to get that in between the in the opening behind the uh, the bracelet. Okay. Can I yank it out really fast? The the bracelet. Bracelet. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Not the case. <laughs> yeah. Make a uh, make a sleight of hand. All right. Nineteen. Okay. Nice. You, you do so, and the beat comes crashing down and destroys the case. All right. But you have the fair bracelet. play. Yep. But you do have Let the bracelet. Delete that from my bag. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Does it see? Can I inspect it? Does it have any like magical properties or inscriptions or uh, make a perception check? 22. Nice. 22. Nice. Hey, as you look at this, you kind of realize nice. that this wasn't really a bracelet. It looks like a bracelet that a human would wear. But you can tell this used to be a ring or maybe an earring that a stone giant would have worn. Oh, wow. It's just a large hoop. Yeah. Cool. Interesting. All right. Is it so it's just a sizable for... chunk of gold. That's, that's what you can, yeah, from, yeah, that's all you can discern from it. Is it time for the magic item lover to take a look? I don't know. I will, does it have like giant inscriptions on it at all you and don't lettering? You don't or see is any it just large? You don't see any inscriptions on it, no. All right. Literally all right. Just a golden egg. <laughs> all right. Uh, this hall is clear. Let's <laughs> head down to the long hall here as quick as we can. <laughs> finish okay. putting the female back to rest and I'll go join the group. Okay. Um, this way is Do open. Do we just we, say yep, that we just room. make our way all the way back to that room? Or do you want to... I'm pretty wanna... sure we cleared everything. Yeah. yeah everything we're... down here looks like it's good. That's we want to make it all the way back to that room with the the axe in the wall. The axe in the wall. Yeah. Okay. All For right. brevity's sake. Yeah, yeah I, I will do that. I'll I'll move you guys all get together in a cluster, and I will do that. Hello, well, I'm Julia I'm already there. moved herself. Uh. Yeah, if everybody's together, I can make it easier, and I could just copy and paste all of you. Well, actually, if I'm, you're I'm... able to, you can just highlight us all and drag us all. Exactly, but you guys have to be together. <laughs> yeah, Yulia already put her token over, so... Okay, where's... Uh, I see Sokron, Solwyn, Boxy. Over? Sparks is underneath me. Sparks. Yeah. I think so, Yaren and Yulia are already there. Okay. Uh, let's see... We can pop over there. Yeah... I don't know why. It's not what I wanted. I just. Do. Okay. Right. You guys are flying. To oh, the I mean. Ah! Oh, Whee! <laughs> Halfway there, I learned. All right. Almost Dimension Door. Where like are you? Of, like... Where are you, Sayoran? I'm already over you. there. Okay. Yeah, he's already over here. Okay, you guys are all over there, and you guys begin to choke a little bit and take five damage. Uh, oh, no! Oh, oh man. Shit. Okay, I'm not feeling too good. Nope. Do you require some healing? Yeah, please. I'll get you. Never mind. Alright, let's see. My spell slots are exceedingly limited, after all. <laughs> yeah, I have a bit more room to spare, so I'll cast... Speaking of spell slots, does anyone want some of theirs back? I'll I would definitely take here one. At first level, okay. so I used my twos to get rid of that disease. You got ten back. Okay. Hey, thank you. Okay, I'm going to give... I'm going to bolster... With my bolstering magic, I give an uh, extra spell slot to Julia. So I roll a d3? And roll a d3. Yeah, to see what, uh, okay. um, what level it is. First level. Okay. 
I only get a first level. How many more of those do you have? I have two more, and I can only give it to one person for a long rest. So I can give one to you, so Fran. I could take one. Yeah. Hope, better hope you get a three recharge that fireball. <laughs> I know, that's what I want. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, so roll a... Uh, Come on. 1d3. One D3. Yep. Yeah, roll a d3. Come on. Uh... You can do it. I just put 1d3. You can do it. Uh, uh, yeah. Slash roll 1d3. With a space. Come on. There you yeah. go. Hey. 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 Fireball, good to go. There you All go. Right. Fucking lucky wizard on the <laughs> <know, right>? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, you know what? Solon, you know what? Solon, Sayorin. Yeah. You know what this is? This is his fucking divination bullshit. That's what this is. <laughs> he twi- he, that, That's how he's so fucking lucky. He keeps twisting luck to his advantage. It's harsh. Yeah. I'm kidding. <laughs> now he doesn't twist luck to his advantage. He sees whether or not it's a good idea to do this. I'm sorry. Have you seen his rolls whenever he yeah. does something stupid? <laughs> <laughs> he sees that coming. What do you mean he roll? He doesn't yeah. do any acrobatics. He's like... <laughs> He's all, I'm feeling good about this. Let's okay, 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 okay. <laughs> oh. Has this room changed at all since we've been here last? The doors are closed again. And once again, you do see the double doors. And they're made of bronze. So this is a nice... And I, I, At the time, you didn't read the glyphs. But there's still glyphs worked into the faces of these bronze doors. Do you want to even attempt to read them, either of you two? Uh, sure. Uh, is it in a language I know? No, it was in the other language, I think. Then we should have the uh, gentleman who can cast comprehend language read it. Uh, it will take ten minutes. If you want to know what this reads. Yeah, I think we should. Okay. Then I take the time, and Rachel will cast uh, Comprehend Language. Okay, you do so. And after 10 minutes go by, it's pretty quiet. And you're able to, the, the words start coming together to where it's almost like looking like common to you. The letters start switching around and transforming so you can comprehend it. And you read, Here lies Tokus Popo. Popo Lacus, master of the others, who is like the wind and the night. D, your face is so funny. Sorry. <laughs> You're just like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Uh, uh, it's like uh, our vampiric kind of guy that we read about. Possibly. Huh. What what y'all? Does this 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 ring any bell, this name? I don't recognize the name, but like Solon just said, it could be nope. Does not ring a bell? <laughs> could be what uh we had been warned about that could be here. Interesting. Do we know about oh, the <laughs> And, and it was about vampires, right? That we were warned yeah. of? Or... Vampirism or something like that. Everybody have your holy water readies and your steaks and whatever else. I've I don't know if we have anything thing. like that, to be I've... perfectly honest. <laughs> <laughs> I've got two bottles of holy water still left over from the mines. Okay. Oh, that's um, nice. I, I don't remember. What were these things on the sides? They're urns. They were just like yeah. urns. Yep. And we already looked through it and all that stuff. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, well, are we ready? I mean, this is. I think this is it. Might as well. But first, you have to like, search it. I'm gonna crack the door open a bit, see if the greener gas is still there, cause remember we opened it, something broke, and it like released a green gas. Yeah. Why don't you look at the door first? 
see if it had been reset or if it the doors were just closed. Inspect for traps. Mm. Wink, wink, king it. Eh, fine, I'll check if like it, it all like resets. It. Okay, yeah, you Help. make an investigation. Yeah. Uh, Would you like I... to be assistant? Yeah. Sure, I'll take the help action from him. Alright, so I'll roll advantage. Highest result. It's an 18. Okay, yep, you're not finding any trap. It doesn't seem like it reset. Alright, I'm gonna crack the door a bit. Is the green gas from the thing that broke still there? Yes, it is. Oh, goody. Didn't exactly vent out, did it? Well, Do... it doesn't exactly have central AC. So. Did... Did y'all get affected by gas? And uh, no. We were asked to make a saving throw when we went in. Okay, because I never went in. I don't, but I, I don't think, think that we all passed whatever it was. Yellow gla- gas yeah. is green gas. Let's just get this over with. Alright, <laughs> get in there. Let the... Let the Yellow and green makes what? Uh, lime? I don't know. I I know it. <laughs> Yellow green. I think it's called Sprite. <laughs> <laughs> Are those. Oh, wait, I wasn't in here last time, so I don't know that they're here. Okay, so who's all going into the room? And so what far, me, Boxy, So far, there's three. Sokin and I are kind of out in the hall. Okay, so Boxy, <laughs> Solwyn, and Sayorin make uh, con saving throws. And Sparks is immune to poison, Water. so... 13. Come on. Hey! hey I, I uh, okay, you guys are all... Okay, there. Okay. And y'all make it. So you guys need to... I mean, I would have said it's a really say it's really easy save DC, but the boxy would have failed. So. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, yeah. Thanks. Thanks for not saying anything, Alex. Uh, I turn yeah. to Yulia. as like, you ready to go in there? It looks like they're fine. Yeah. So. Yeah. Occupy I'll this. move up, but I won't go in because the doors are at least open. Like, okay. So here, um, you guys. Your nose or something. Here. You're seeing, you know, occupying the center of the chamber is a colossal monument resembling a giant's table, covered on all sides with intricate carvings. Engraved on the floor in front of the entrance, the seal that displays more glyphs opposite the entrance of Battle Axe is embedded in the wall, six feet above the floor. Okay. I'm going to... So I'm going to have to go in so I can read what the way that says, so... Yep. Wish me luck. I step in. Alright, make Come a in. cotton saving throw. I was going to suggest you hold your breath, but it's too late. <laughs> 14? Okay. You're fine. You, yep, you're, you feel fine? You make your way That's over. Yeah, that's nothing. I don't know what you're all worried about. You tell him to hold his breath, and as he steps in the room, he sucks in a lung full of air and has to make the save at disadvantage. And then, you, <laughs> yeah, you see these words up here, and you see, ah, defilers, now you shall join me in my eternal resting. Ah. The monument itself, it's constructed nice. from several parts, as you can see. You see a great stone slab, 20 feet long by 10 feet wide which rests upon a four-foot-thick monolith of rock of similar dimensions, and this, in turn, is supported by six huge blocks of dolomite. The the top of the slab, it depicts a struggle between a dark-skinned man and a mighty, knotted serpent. Serpent. What do you guys want to do? Um, I'll go ahead and step into the room as well here. I feel like uh, doing anything with the axe is bad news, and doing anything with this thing is bad news. 
whole room is just but... bedos. <laughs> Do I need to make a con? It's, it's all. Yep. You, everybody. Yep. When you walk in, you make a con saving throw. Okay. <laughs> You're fine. Yep. <laughs> I'm, ha I'm having like nervous. Yay! <laughs> because we oh. don't know what it does. Um. What if I get closer? <laughs> Do I see any writing or anything on the axe on the wall or on the wall by the axe? No, it's just it's sticking just straight into the wall. Okay. Like that's just Wait. waiting to be pulled out of there. The, is the is the little dais like sarcophagus like the only thing in this room? Like there's nothing on the side except for the axe. That's correct. You don't see anything else. Does this even look like That's that like... we can move it, Sailorin? This thing is huge. Uh, me and Moxie could probably push it off, yes. Um, if you want to know what the gas does, I could sit out there and do side hops in and out of room, making constant. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't think. I think we're fine. Another, just take another big breath in. I don't and... think. <laughs> I would like to take a moment and like do a 360 around the sarcophagus and inspect it and see if I can see anything that would be bad if I open it. Okay. And uh, you're just gonna open, try to open it. No, I want to walk around it before we try to open it and Look see if I it. notice anything funky about it. No, I mean, no, you see more glyphs around the top. It, there's some writing on the top of it. And, mm -hmm. and then you see there's like a li 11 face glyphs at the foot of the block. And, Sokrin, did you read what's on top of the sarcophagus here? I believe it was that uh, that uh, yeah the disturbed me. Now you right. That was suffer. on the bottom. Do you want to read the, the top? Oh, okay. Yeah. The glyphs at the, the top, top have the name of T Tolokas and the date he died. Fifty four dash three dash nine, written in the face of the glyphs. As you look around the sides of the block, you see eleven face glyphs. And you, you can tell that they're numbers, 0 through 10. 0 through 10. Hey, this is this is something right here. There's some face glyphs, and they're numbered 0 to 10. Did you tell us what the date was? Um, yeah, I, 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 re I repeated everything. Okay. The name, date. Um, what happens if you touch any of the glyphs? one of the numbers okay i uh which one is which one of these is five just point it out yeah just pick random they're in order zero through ten around the block okay uh tr try touching the the first one of these numbers the five. five five uh we'll say it's this one yep this is five Yep. I, I uh, touch it. Okay, you push it, and it actually goes in. Okay, the next one was four. I, I wrote them down. Ooh. Okay. Please, and it also please. depresses. I need, okay. I, I need everybody to make another con save. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, oh boy. We'll find out what we... <laughs> We'll find out now what it's gonna do. Find 25 out now. Oh, I'm still not. on a natural 20. I'm okay. like, no, I don't want this. Okay. All of a sudden, Sokron, he collapses unconscious. Oh, oh. shit. Sokron! Is it I, I, run, he I run over to him. Oh, and it, after he pushed the the number, is he dead? He, um, he's breathing. <laughs> he's just unconscious. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> he just uh, dropped down dead. I'll uh, I'll try to try to wake him up, like stabilize him. I guess if he's hang on, I can do the stabilize. Yeah, yeah, just in case. All right. Seems to have no effect. Let here, yeah, let let me see him. Okay, uh, if it's does, does somebody no. want to help me examine him? Yeah, I'll help you do a, a medicine yeah. or whatever. Eighteen. 
18. Ah, uh, you can tell he's poisoned. Poisoned? Oh, no. Okay. The gas, um... is, uh, the gas is poisoned. Hey, you can pull him to the can... outside of the room. Uh, oh, sure. Okay. Um, I'll help Sayoran pull him to the front of the room. I guess. Cool. Okay. I can't. I can't outside. move you, Sokran. Yeah. You can move yourself, Sokran. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, I will go ahead, and if I know that he's poisoned, I'll expend uh, my third a third level slot to cast lesser lesser restoration at second level. Okay. Okay. To see if it rouses rouses him. It does. Yep. <laughs> Shit. Okay. <laughs> he's awake. He didn't take any well, damage, happened? but he became unconscious. All right, Let's you, do it again. You, you, I you step chill back out inside. <laughs> no, no, oh stay God. here. God fucking damn oh my it. God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. Uh, all right, I'll wait out. Um, Let's see what happens. Point finish, out to finish. me which one is the third one. Uh... So this is five. Was this four? And then three. Um. Okay. Boxy, go go press the number three one for us, please. And I point at it. Okay. I press it. Okay. It, it goes in. Okay. And then there's one more. Okay. The nine. Which one is the nine, Sokrin? So this is five. Uh, shadows. I'm just going in so I can the shadow so I can see. So this was five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I'll this I'll one. push I'll push this one in. Okay. All right. It goes and then. As soon as you hit the nine, the the block beneath the slab. Yeah. All right. All right, it appears, all right, okay. You begin to hear a, a grating sound issuing forth from the top of the slab, and it slides back a bit. I will uh. ready it. I'll, I'll take the dodge action and raise my shield up. <laughs> okay. I think I'll do the same. But, okay. Yep. So it slid okay. downward, so like, like the head ah! portion is, is open now? The, the the slab actually slid off to the side a little bit. Oh, like, to the side. Like it's just, and then just stopped. Okay. It's like, ooh, open me. Who's, who's going to be the brave soul to see what's inside? As Did I you see anything about outside. this in your poor tents for today? Something. Uh, I... I did not. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, uh, looking... I mean, fuck it, Solon. Let's go. Let's look at it. I just, I stand next to Solon and we both look in. You die. Okay. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we explode. Like, like full, full on Indiana Jones Ark of the Covenant. Like your face just starts melting. Yeah. Just, the, yeah. The, the beam comes <laughs> shooting out. Oh, God. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay, as you kind of take a look inside, you can see that the slab, it, it, it's hollow, and inside you see a crimson skeleton decked out in decay, decayed finery. The skeleton, okay, remember, it, or do, do, they, do you guys share that with us? Not yet. I, okay, sorry. Yeah, it, he's still going. Yeah, it, and in this skeleton, it appears to have been a man of taller than average stature. But by this garment, you can tell he looked like he was somebody of great importance. You see gems and other small adornments of obvious value lying on and around the body. Covering the skull is a mask of jade with cowrie shell eyes and obsidian pupils. About the corpse's neck is a jade pendant carved with the face of a human like that. Humanoid what? Bat. Bat, okay. 
What do you see? There is this skeleton that has a lot of stuff on it that's jade. It's got a vase. It's got a pendant. It's decked out and all kinds of stuff. And there's stuff all around him. Okay, it's what did we learn? Don't touch it. Until we, we decide, won't touch it. we decide that that's what we're going to do. Should I? Don't think I so. We're not gonna touch it. Should I ritual oh, yeah. uh, detect magic to see if there's anything funky? Maybe some. I can also. I can also do that with my magic awareness. I can see try. if you, you notice something. Yeah. Do I notice anything with my magic awareness? No, you, you're actually not noticing anything other than this corpse. I mean, you do see other okay. items inside. You can see that about the wrists are wide jaded, jade bead bracelets. On the middle finger of each hand, you can also see carved jade rings. One in the hand, one in the form of a man holding the moon, and the other, a panther ready to strike. Mm. Pressed into the fingers of each hand is a large bead, a jade cube. In the right hand, and a spherical agate. In the left, draped over the rib cage, you see a breastplate made of loops of tubular jade intersp interspersed with bone dividers. Above the mask, on the corpse's forehead, is a diadem of dark opals and jade discs. To either side of the mask are jade earplugs carved in several pieces to resemble budding flowers. Strands of hair still remain on the skull as well, gathered into black obsidian and red pipestone tubes. Whoever this guy was was really fancy. I mean, don't touch anything, but I mean, y'all maybe come look at it to see if you. Here, come here. So Not basically, the only things Boxy are pinging are the items we possess. Correct. Yeah. I. Whatever you do, I. You should do it quickly before. This gas gets some of you. And you do feel the pinging from the axe as this, you know, from kind of, that's kind of okay. magical as well. Um, yeah. I'm going to try something. Okay. Brian, um, I don't know if it will help because technically it only allows me to breathe in water, but I'm going to, one of my item infusions was the cap of water breathing, but I've stylized it so it's like a, a rebreather type mask, and I'm going to put that on and see if that'll actually help. Okay. Against the gas next time I have to make a save. I okay. doubt it will, but anything's worth a shot. Okay. So does Boxy tell me that the axe kind of pings? Yes. Like, I'm just like, oh, there's not really anything here, but this is in, this is something. Careful not to touch the wind. I'm gonna take the spider staff and I'm gonna like try to push from like I'm gonna try and catch the kind of spidery design of the staff like between the head and the handle itself and try to like push on it see if it'll come out of the wall alright I'll make a perception check um, you're, I'll give you that but you're, the axe itself is not moving it's pretty in there. Uh, ten. Okay. Yeah, you're not really seeing why it's stuck in the wall, but you just know it's it's stuck, like it's part of the wall almost. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, if you can't exactly push it gently, you might as well give it a stronger push or some. Uh. Should I try to, like, swing at it? Yeah, I'll try to swing at it, like, try to, like, 
actually like really hit it, try to dislodge it. Alright, so I'll go for attack roll, I'll two hand it. Uh twenty two to hit. Okay. And three on the bludgeon damage. Okay, it seems to bounce off of it. And let's see here. Oh. Yeah. But when you did um, hit it this time, you notice that the the handle it's got a part is the rat the wrappings came a little loose when you hit it, and you do see a parchment underneath. Oh. Um. Let's see. What else oh. do I have? Give me a sec, I'm gonna... Uh, I'll take my crowbar out and I'm gonna use it and the staff to like, almost like a uh, grabby tool of sorts, I'm gonna grab the parchment with them both. Okay. And yeah. like, like try to thing. pull it out. <laughs> okay, yep, you're able to get the parchment out by doing that. Okay. I'll open it up. Is it common or draconic? Um, you can tell it's a. Yeah, the this look. It looks like a scroll. Oh. Like. With several spells on it. Several. Oh. She got over there. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it might be something for you, so friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He sensed the disturbance in the force. <laughs> yep. All right, uh, Yulia. Are you doing anything different? No, I'm just kind of standing here, making sure nothing funny goes on while they're messing with all these things. Okay. And say, so, are you doing anything? I'm gonna look up. Okay. <laughs> it's always a good choice, actually. <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna pass the. I, I meant roll. to do that when we got in here, but thank you, then I thank forgot you. because we had to avoid dying to green gas. But yeah, and actually, yeah. Speaking of which, I need so everybody in the room to make idea. a uh, con save. Oh god damn it! God damn it! Yeah. <laughs> now, god damn it. <laughs> now, does my cap of water breathing help at all with this? No, it doesn't. It was worth a shot. <laughs> I'm good. Yep. And he did it. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Boxy and and Yulia, uh, they just both collapse. Plop, plop. Yes. Oh, boy. Great. I'm going to drag both of them out. I'm going to try and drag Boxy so that as little of her shell gets scuffed up as possible, but she's just too awkward to actually pick up. So. Yeah, I'm going to help you with that, and Sparks can probably, like, grab well, my You can just, you can just actually, roll hang, me. I don't care. Hang, hang on. Uh... Boxy, how heavy are you? That's a good question. How heavy am I? Check the equipment weight at the very least. Five hundred. Well, oh, the equipment weight is irrelevant. I was because I think I might actually be able to grab her uh, neck hole and one of her leg holes and just <laughs> pick her up. Just like ah. <laughs> you can. I'm pretty sure you can do that. I think you'll like, be able to do that easily. There we go. No get them both out of there and i'm going to continue believing that my math can natural my one dude actually does something yeah uh, you and boxy got natural ones i know you guys are out yeah no. we got that well they got poisoned as well yep um, so we need to we does anybody Sorry, have hurts. something for this okay so i'm assuming you you brought Boxy out of the out. Yes. So she's out here out of the gas. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. real talk right now. I'm just like hella tired. So you guys broke open the axe handle? No, I like tried to take a swing at it and it didn't really budge too much. The wrappings came off it and there was a scroll with multiple spells on it. I so gave the scroll to should I just pull axe off of wall before we all come to gas? Do oh, it. Speaking of, was there anything in the above us when I checked? Uh, you didn't see anything out of the ordinary. Just a very high vaulted ceiling. 
Okay. Yeah, they cool. kind of that was kind of fitting for this immaculate uh, tomb. Um, I want to go ahead and just try and pull the fucking axe out. I'll give Tell you a hand. hand. Uh, okay, I'm gonna tell you no. now that it's you're not going to be able to do it. it you know, I could bite your roll, but it'd be, but you you can't. It's not coming out. Oh. Forget the axe. Get the stuff in the in the crypt. And let's go. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm over here just trying to do all the anything to try to that. to wake them up. Okay. Yeah. Everything you're trying is not succeeding. I did better. <laughs> Boxy. But it yeah. Well, you are helping, so you give me an advantage. Um, yeah. But it will. Uh, <laughs> let, let us clear out this uh, this tomb. We can check for clues outside. You're going to clear out the tomb? Yeah, well, coffin, whatever. What are you guys going to take? Oh, shit. I'm just going to start Here throwing go. stuff out the door. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm over here just like as soon as you oh, do fuck. oh no and as soon as you start disturbing the treasure let me guess you want nap too yeah yeah <laughs> it comes to life the, the skeleton creature him. comes to life Wait, oh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna move you guys in. Move out here, and so we. And with that, all right. As as you begin to take the objects and you're throwing them towards the door, a dust is stirred up into clouds. It begins to gather on the bones as they knit themselves back together. His wasted form then sips up and gazes about. And he looks right at you, Sayoran. And repeats what was on the glyph. Ah, defilers. I'm going to make a copy of myself right now. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to rearrange the tokens a bit. Uh, okay. And I am going to pass a bottle of holy water to Sparks. Okay, and Silkron <laughs> was smart. He knew it's initiative time. <laughs> hey, look, I finally rolled good for initiative. Woo! Yay! Yeah. Watch. Do you want uh, Do you want us to roll too or no? <laughs> no, you, not unless you could roll, but it's but it's gonna skip right over you because. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I won't roll. Then. Yeah. Nothing <laughs> that we could do nice. to get you up. It's gonna skip right over you because you got knocked up. Fuck out. <laughs> it's Friday night. <laughs> Natural twenty. Okay. Oh, I hope you all die. Y'all got this. <laughs> y'all got this. Just remember, if we die, you die too, because we can't get you. <laughs> I mean, we can't it is get what it you is. To, you're the one person that can it cure the That's what I mean. Like, <laughs> So, man, <laughs> you're up first. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. I'm going to hold my action to do both shots of the lightning launcher for after Sparks does as commanding with the bonus action. I'm going to have him use his action to splash the bottle of holy water I gave him on the guy. Okay. And then after he does so, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Alright, so after he splashes, he comes back to me and now for lightning launcher. All right, so first one, that is 24 to hit. Uh, 24 will hit, yep. That is six points of lightning. Okay. Once per turn, add another four damage. Okay. And second attack, that is 22 to hit. Okay, that hits. 
And another nine points of lightning damage. Okay. And going back to that holy water. Uh, if the target is a fiend or undead, it'll take 2d6 radiant damage. Does he take this damage? Yep. All right. So that is <laughs> three. All right. All righty. Okay. At the very least, it shows he does react to holy water. What does that mean? What type is he? Either fiend or undead. Mm-hmm. Most Will likely he, the latter. He he arose. He literally turned into this guy from a skeleton. Of course he's not dead. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure though? I don't could, know. Could, could be an illusion. Or anyway. <laughs> it could be one hell of a this, resurrection. I am going to distract him by moving Echo out of his range. Does he attack the Echo? Yeah, what he does with his attack of opportunity. Yeah. Excellent. I believe that will miss. Huh. Yes. And now I will attack him with the... Uh, oh, shit, I did that wrong. Oh, well, too late now. I will attack him with the... Uh, we'll go with booming... With booming blade. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That will hit. Yep, that will definitely hit. Do your damage. He takes... Three... He takes 14 points... Of thunder damage. Okay. And I there's uh I don't know actually because I actually haven't looked into this. Do multiple instances of booming blades stack? Like if I hit him with two of them, will he take the thunder damage twice? Well, you can't use two cantrips in a turn, right? Right. Action surge. Oh. You're right. Mm -hmm. Then it would. Yeah. You action okay. surge. Yeah. Very well. I will attempt to do. Ooh. Let me read this one. Uh, oh, okay. Then I will instead do this. Um, can I attack action, bonus action, swap with echo, and then use? Oh wait, that's a bonus action to do the thing, isn't it? Yep. To unleash in. Oh, no. It says when you uh, when you take the attack action, you can make one additional melee attack. Okay, so I can't use it after the bonus action. Never mind. We are going to action surge and booming blade him again because ha ha fuck you. That will hit. One to one. Uh. Takes five plus the spell damage of one d eight, so eleven points of thunder damage. And if he moves, he takes twenty three. All right. And I will swap places with the echo. <laughs> 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 it is his turn. All right. So his first attack, he's going to attack the echo. Let's see. Actually, what, what's he going to do instead? Actually, hmm, what would be, uh, yeah, he's going to, no, 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 magic house, all right, hmm, okay, so that's his action, and so he summons, all right, and it'll be they'll be here in probably when he's all dead. So that's five <laughs> swarms. Yep. <laughs> in one round. In one round. Okay. They'll come oh. pretty quick. Uh, so it's nighttime then. It's always nighttime in the shrine. Yep. Yep. Huh. All right. Mm. So Kron, stand at the door. You see this. Okay, I shall, um, how do you want to do this? <laughs> I'm going to do Scorching Ray. Okay. Wow, okay. So that's 13 on the first ray. And then I would do Bink and Bink. Oh, only the first one hits. Yep. Uh, those are the, oh, the damage. Those, oh, damage. Oh, sorry, those are damage. Uh, here's one. And there's two. Sixteen Third and nine. Cool. Okay, so, uh, the sixteen hits. 
the nine misses. Go ahead and do damage for that one. Hey, even better. So that's another 11. Yeah, all right. So 22. All right, at the end of the round, I need... 24 total, actually. Yes, Solwyn and Sayorin to make con saving throws. How far apart do these need to be made? Because we made one just yes. before combat started. I know. All right. Every round. Oh. Here we go. 25. Yep. Yep, you're good. 17. You're good? Okay, so when it is your turn. Oof. Or the easy saves. Oh, here we <laughs> go. Pew, pew. And it's 15 to hit. Yep, that will hit. All right, that is six points of lightning. Okay. Once per turn, an additional five. And when you do so, Tlokas, <laughs> he, he, re he returns back to his skeleton form, and the axe comes falling out of the wall. I will move the echo over there, or just combat over. Combat is over, yep. I will quickly move over there, and I'm going to grab... I'm going to switch places with the Echo. And then I'm going to grab the axe, and I'm going to chuck it outside... Like, hurl this thing outside the door. And then Incoming. continue back with... <laughs> continue back with the plan of trying to get all the crap out of here. Because I don't know what's happening to my okay. friends, but I don't want it to happen to me either. Okay. And you want to write all this <laughs> down? Oh, Lord. I'm not going to... Yeah, we're on pause time right here where you write all this down. Yeah. yeah, just have Sparks grab the axe because his capacity is like 30 pounds in weight. Too late. I already hurled it. <laughs> All right. You find... Yep. There you find the, the very nice mask he was wearing. A mask of jade with the cowry shell eyes with obsidian pupils. You find it, the jade pendant carved with a human with the face of a humanoid human like bat all right you find a spherical white onyx wait is not onyx black yeah. i found a white black yeah <laughs> spherical white nice. onyx yep I feel you, like I've heard something before about there being white on some instances of onyx. You find I, it's... black obsidian and red pipestone tubes. Oh. You find a diadem of dark opals and jade disc. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, what? Diadem of dark opals jade... oh, and dark opals and jade disc. You find jade earplugs. What the fuck? <laughs> like the earplugs, you know, like. <laughs> yeah. All right. Like, the, like plugs. The plugs. Weird. Yeah. Weird flex, but okay. Like plugs, not like plugs. Okay. No, because 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 I, I use earplugs, and I'm thinking <laughs> of like these just tiny little jade things you just insert into your ears. <laughs> <laughs> you find. <laughs> yeah. Over the rib cage, you find the breastplate. <laughs> made of loops of tubular jade interspersed with bone dividers. Okay, mm. hang, on, hang on, my keyboard's freaking out. I, I got, I tried to type down breastplate and I got breastplate. Okay. Breastplate, breastplate made of <sighs> loops of tubular jade interspersed. Somebody take over typing, please, because my keyboard is... Okay, just... Alright. Okay. Okay. The breastplate with jade and bone. We'll put, keep it that. Keep it simple. You find yeah, one hundred and fifty jade beads. You find jade bead bracelets. You find. You really like bead or jade? Yep. On the middle finger of the right hand, you find a 
a, a ring in the form of a man holding the moon. Uh, on the left hand, you find a ring of a, a panther ready to strike. Into the fingers of each hand, you, you found a large bead, a jade cube. So there's two of those. At the foot of the skeleton, you find two small containers of one f uh, fitted with flower shaped plugs in both ends. And you look inside, you find that it has the dried remains of some powdery substance. In the other container, you see. A piece of mother of pearl. And then within the tomb itself, you also find a six inch statue of a faceless man with large pointed ears. Wait, can you say that last one? With large pointed ears. Faceless man. With large pointed with ears. Large. Pointed ears. And then plugged in at the bottom. And you shake it, and you can tell that there's it's liquid inside. God, this thing was just—he was sleeping in a treasure trove sensory deprivation chamber. <laughs> so, so that's the tre treasure that you find. That's all you find in there. But you did find a lot. That's it. Now get out of there. <laughs> I'm gonna. I don't know how long it takes me to get all this stuff. Like, start chucking it out to him, but I'm gonna head outside now. Okay. Yeah, you, you head outside, you get it. Alright. Alright. And Boxy and Yulia are still asleep. They are unconscious, rather. Alright. And... Oh, cool, 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 cool. So, with that... Right. With that, we're gonna call it a night, and you guys can start thinking, how do we... Awaken Yulia right. and Boxy from their from this and the, poison. And the best part is we still haven't found the stupid fucking stick we came here for. <laughs> no stick. <laughs> and, and, now, and now you have two, a stick. And now you have two unconscious teammates <laughs> that are like gonna, and one of them is rather massive. Oh to, boy! <laughs> to carry around. Oops. Oh my goodness. And, oh yeah! Don't forget to write down. You did find an axe that the the axe that he had that came falling ah. on the wall. Yep, it's a battle axe. Yes, special axe. Battle axe. Special yep. axe. All right, but with that, I'm gonna I'm gonna look for somebody to to raid, and we'll raid them, and then we will be. <laughs> you wanna you wanna raid critical row, <laughs> critical role. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, are they on? That would be fun, right? You think they'd even care? Yeah. Who knows? What if they care a lot? Right? No. I know, right? It's like uh, they're like, oh wow, it's the oh shit, it's the ta tavern harriers. With all Holy nine shit! Of, with their nine viewers, they came to our twelve thousand. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there are 12,000 viewers. I'd, hey, it would even make it. <laughs> Honestly, knowing the cast of Critical Role, I think they'd be all for it. Well, they would probably be all for However, th have you ever watched it? They're, the chat is just constant. <clears throat> and so the, I don't even know if they would notice that we raided because it's so constant. Yeah, they would have to have, like, notifications or something which I'm pretty sure that it's all pre-recorded right now anyway since COVID so it's not like it's That's alive yeah well they're, they're we, doing should, live shows. we should raid somebody no I'm we pretty sure it's all like... pre-recorded right now is it? Hmm. yeah I think, I think I watched them do ESO last night and they said it was live I watched a little bit of it maybe yeah they, nice well, they weren't together. They were all separate like we are. Maybe uh, ask Corey if he has any other channel suggestions. I'm, I'm looking to see. Uh, D &D. 
looking for some. I'm just looking for see somebody who's... else that's doing in the yawning portal. Yeah, that's what I was. Let's see. Let's do this channel here. Would have been nice to know that I had to keep saving against the gas. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't have been in there. Yeah. As the only one that yeah. can fix it. Hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. We are aware we are trying to resolve the situation. <laughs> I mean, you can just, you can like just drag me and then you can put Yulia on top of me. So it is just like, you know, I'll carry her on my show. Nope. Got to roll a new character for next week. I'm dead. Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> I died. We both, we both they just, just died. They just left us here. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. If you're just only unconscious from this poison, if that's the only thing that's happening, then if we take a long rest, if that doesn't go away, then at the very least, bare minimum, I can at least use the long rest to swap out something to get re lesser restoration myself. I see you. But that's assuming you don't die during the rest. Thank, well, thanks for that vote die. of confidence. <laughs> I mean, considering that within the same session, we've also got hit with something that was going to kill us in at most 17 hours. Like out of character it's speaking. Is that, right. it's, so it's either a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah. Or like, ask this. All right, we are rating Praetor's Rejects in nice. two, one, right now. Okay. Yay! All right, and that means we are offline. Of course, <sighs> as we just rated. All righty.